Are you taking bets on whether she's gonna kill him? You think you're gonna get hurt talking to him? I don't really mind much. Either way. I do. Mom, but just say you don't mind. Sorry, what did you say? So why would you say you don't mind? I don't know. I um, don't feel the word the much in the way of caring right now. I think I get that. But I care about you, so maybe you don't have to care. Try not to get hurt then. And then eventually, um, you can care again. You were the second person that helped me in the crossing. I like you too. My damn toes. You hear me? You hear me? I can move my fucking toes. <laughs> wiggle them. <laughs> Where did Jack go? I thought he was with his paralyzed friend, but is that his paralyzed friend? Yeah. Then... I don't know.
I don't think I saw him right off. Have you? He's still a rat. Hmm? Oh, it's new. Oh, it's new. Just give him some strawberry extract. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Just give him the strawberry extract. I can't hit them with a shotgun. about to come get gone. Is that the end of the dock? Oh. oh, he's there. Okay, I see him. I mean, the best I can possibly do.
I'm just picturing the, the Romeo and Juliet soundtrack playing now. He's so vulnerable right now, unless some of his people are watching. Stab an ocean dump. It's a really bad spot for a meeting. That blue jay below me? Oh no, I'm looking at a blue jay. There's been no body movement changes. Okay. Sir? <laughs> okay. Why are they all the way out here? Oh, come on, Peaches. Just be the one to kill him. Jack Cattleman. Oh, okay. There goes one of his buddies is checking on him.
Okay. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Should I just use my shotgun? Uh, <laughs> huh. And that dude like disappeared in front of me too. It was weird. Like, where did he go? I need to go back to throwing knives. Well... I mean, she got knocked on the head. She'd be unconscious. Uh. Hello? Uh. Who is this? Hysteria. Oh, Hysteria. I gotcha. 
Do you know if anybody else was over here? Um, no, I saw one other person over here. All right. Oh, I just ran over somebody. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just gonna get everybody to one spot. Yeah. Fucking locals. Yeah, they do this often. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, the wolves! Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> I think the locals are getting them. No, I think the your local got eaten. Before I think your local got eaten. Oh God! Those your locals are getting eaten. <laughs> Here we go again. Help. If you get Sloan, she can help everybody else. She is a doctor. Mm -hmm. I have many Thank you. Which one? Is Here, Sloan? do you need, need a med kit or anything? Uh, where's Me. Sloan? There's two right there. It's All right, me. I'm gonna I'm go Sloan. check around the Hello. 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 Am I grabbing Sloan? Mm hmm. All right, come over here so there's no confusion. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks. I also have medic bags. Oh, you do? I'm also medically trained. Yep. Oh, well, <laughs> that's fine then. Uh... Where did they get you? I just got knocked over the head with a pistol. All right. Mm, I don't have a bag on me. Maybe Something. Maynard does. Let mm. me go ask. Just going to rest my eyes a moment. Uh huh, yes. <laughs> I pee so bad. <laughs> Maynard, do you happen to have another bag? Or just. Oh, you said you do, right, sir? All right. You going to go try to see if James is accounted for? Do you need a medical bag? Uh, yes, actually. Now the sky I think this, she said Sloan has one. Sloan has one. Right. Sloan's I got one. Oh, okay. She's a doctor. A I think Wisteria is medically trained, too. Yes. That's the woman right here. Then. Yeah. yeah, she said she was. All right. I'll Have you guys it. seen James? Is he okay? But I just got Boone back on his feet. Okay. It's going to be a bright Go look for day. other injured folk. There's James. There's one. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Make money. Your love life is just gonna be a throbbing. It's gonna be wonderful. I thought we were lying. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that your love life? <laughs> I would say so. I don't know him very well, but. So you just got a little, uh, assume some little of, uh, bump there. His stature and ilk. James. No, he can't help your feelings, and trust me, right? <laughs> James. I'm afraid there's only one way to stop those feelings. I'm afraid there's only two ways to stop those feelings. Death. If there's those feelings. All right, how about this one? A quick one that's not so good. Wait, good, but not as good. When that sun comes up, you won't stub your toe. You'll have an okay lunch. Then you'll go to sleep without being shot. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll let you get to work. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll have you up in no time. You got her? You good on you? Got her. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. She'll Great. be fine. No, they're just using um, right. MMORPG you tactics. Your feet now. <laughs> Thank you. If anyone is currently dead. Yeah, right. Do you need anything? No, oh, I should be good. Thank you. No problem. The name's Bonnie. Pleasure to meet you. Not like this, but Bonnie. My name's Wisteria. It's nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you glad you're all right. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me uh, 
Let's see what's happening over here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone else is down. Nope. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, are they down? Taken away. Oh, I have medic bags. All right. Which, which fire woman? The one in the blue shirt. Oh, no, no. Christ. Wait, who was that who took her? I don't know. Man it in just, the brown vest. Yeah, orange vest. It just oh, took... boom. Boom. Okay. 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 Did, did the uh, gang here go a little bit crazy? They tend to do that. It's much like mm -hmm. Van Horn in that way. Yeah, a couple more wolves here than Van Horn. Though. Yes, thank goodness mm -hmm. we don't have wolves, at least. Uh, I don't know who went over. Um, like near the water over there. Yeah, that, let me let me check over there. Um, yeah. like it, not like near here, but like in the grass. That's who started uh, I'll it. I'll have a look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's who started it. I don't know if he went down. Hey, Wisteria. Mm -hmm. Do you know where Sloan went? Uh, she's it's... over there. Is he bad? Uh, he was paralyzed before he came here, and then wasn't paralyzed. Oh shit, he's the one that okay. shot. Who is this? James no, I'm Cohen. not the one who shot, no, he... lady. He is. Jesus Christ. Oh, there. Where did Sloan go? What is going on around here? Hmm? Howdy. I just need some, uh, uni cocaine. Just give me some of that cocaine and I'll be on my feet in, in, mm -hmm. in a very short time. Oh, hello, I should have thought James. of that earlier, actually. You know, what was that, that I wonder game? who started all of this. I got it. The oh. fella started it. He tried to attack me. I was defending myself. He was having a nice fish. I put my arm around him. Uh, you know, I was going to tell him that I can walk again. Uh -huh. And he just started beating the shit out of me, <laughs> so I handled it. Mm -hmm. And I'm so sorry lucky. if anybody got shot. So lucky I won't kick a paraplegic, I swear to God. I'm so I'm not paraplegic, I can walk now, slime. What? How yeah, do you, how do you think yeah, you got you into think this? I, you think I kick someone's ass by being a cripple? I'm not that good. I thought you just spoke I started, to them. I started feeling my toes, I started feeling my fingers, and then Jack... Jack threw some water on me and, and baptized me. I think I think it was I think it was Was it piss? I think it was Jesus. Oh. He's not Jesus. <laughs> no, I think it was Jesus. Oh my god. I walked into the light and I could feel my body again. It felt like there was ants biting me. It felt like I was tingling. I felt like that under my skin slime. And that water it saved me. I can walk again. I can walk against Sloan and I still got it. I still fucking got it. I killed six Del Lobos with ease. I don't It was easy. It. Well, you don't have to believe me. You're, I don't have to, you I don't have to make you believe anything. Because all that matters is I believe myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, you get that part. Uh-huh. Get the f- Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell me more, James. Uh-huh. I'm, uh... I'm James Kelly. And James My. Kelly ain't no cripple. My, My name's Mysteria. Oh, hello, Mysteria. Have we met before? Wisteria with a W. Wisteria. Like mm -hmm. the flower. Like the flower, yep. Beautiful flower. Mm -hmm. Let me help you up in three, two. Thank you. There you go. Oh, good lord, oh. he's healed. Oh. Praise oh. Jesus. See, Aurora, my, my revolver wouldn't be empty. Mm. I need some food. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Ran around like a madman. I got jerky. Oh, God. Come back around. He 100% started that. Yep, nothing wrong. 
of being differently abled or disabled. Hi. Kind of. What am I hearing? still there they're still standing Oh, you can see them from here, too. Oh, that's such a... That's a good meeting spot. Damn. I don't know. Fuck, that's a good meeting spot. How you doing, Wisteria? I'm alright. I'm just waiting for pages. Hmm, she's taking forever. Mm hmm Make sure she don't do anything. No. Hey, that makes three of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think if she were to do anything, it would have happened by now, so... Wisteria, you said you have a lot of pull with the doctors, right? Mm-hmm. Lark was the last one. She was treating Edwin. Okay. She would be the one that would know exactly what happened, how bad he was. He didn't look good laying next to me. Okay. Um, when did he get hurt? Yeah. Uh, it was last night. Okay. I wasn't around last night, so... Um, Edwin, uh, where did he get hurt? We, so what happened was, uh, I crashed into the bank of the tanker, back of the tanker. Holy shit! Uh -huh. I think that's what caused Edwin to still be there when it got blown up. Okay. And then, uh, they took us to Blackwater where Summers had a standoff with the law. Uh -huh. Summers wanted one of us. For some hostages he had on the outside. 
the law okay. was contemplating it. Malone said that maybe they'd give up Edwin since he might not make it anyway. What? Malone? Mm-hmm. I fucking hate that guy. Sorry, So then I, I decided I'd rather go instead in the process mm -hmm. of everybody figuring everything out. One of Summer's men shot one of the hostages and a shootout happened. I escaped during the shootout. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what happened to Edwin after that. Lark was still I... next to him. Okay. Where's, uh, where's Goldie? I don't know. She took off. She was with Marcus and Moxie. I don't know where they went. Why the fuck is she with them in the last? Goldie's back. She is. is. She wait, wait, who are you again, James? miss? Sorry, I'm Mysteria. Huh. Oh, 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 she took the punch off. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um... Well, I would like to see Goldie. I, I, I wish she was here. I don't know why she would leave. I'm sure she'll be back around. What's about? What's this about Summers? Which part? All of it. I haven't heard shit. Yeah, this is the first time I've got like I. The when I was talking it to better. the doctors about twelve hours ago, uh, they were just they had a lot of paperwork to do, so twelve but, uh, hours ago was probably. Mm -hmm. Around Jack the time to, that it uh, happened. Jack really wanted me to walk, so it means I've got to shoot something, which I am starting to think might be Summers. Don't go after him alone, James. You'll get yourself. No, what the fuck are you... No, of course not. <laughs> of course I wouldn't do that. Summers tried I'd... to take either me or Edwin hostage last night. Held up the sheriff's office. He held up the sheriff's, sheriff's office, office to get one of you. Yeah, we were in the sheriff's office. They got that us up the bank robbery. They wanted one of us for some hostages. What the fuck? The law okay. seemed like they were going to give in. So, so, so. Hold on. So, Summers held up the sheriff's office? He did, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. In which town? Blackwater. Blackwater? Because okay. I've heard. Yeah. A fuck ton happened yesterday. Yeah. yeah. This is Stuart, only... who are you, uh, you associated with? Um, I work with, uh, I'm not really associated with nobody right now. Um, how do you, how do you know these people? Which, these, like, people I'm talking Don't to? Don't Mysteria from Valentine mm -hmm. for quite a while. Okay. Well, uh. This happened in the middle of the town. This ain't, this isn't a secret. Mm -mm. What have we had the... Can I talk to you too? Mm -hmm. Can you walk a little faster? No. <laughs> Remind me of your name one more time. Sloan. Sloan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So I need to figure out about Edward. I'm half asleep on my feet today, to be honest with you. No, it's okay. I'm Going to the store, taking okay. up paces of everything I fucking missed yesterday. You ready? Mm -hmm. Good. I don't know where, um... Deputy where's... is, uh, out here. Okay. Wisteria just floating in and out. Shoot. Definitely don't work with Summers, nah. Deputy. Figure out what you wanted to know. Yeah. 
Okay. Are you better or worse for it? Mm. And that still be alive? Thought he was dead. What are you asking about? Edwin. I just got asked about Edwin. I'm gonna try to figure it out. I need to talk to Lark. Where would she be? Blackwater? Um, either in Blackwater or Valentine. I ain't seen her today, though. But... Let's go to Blackwater. Mm-hmm. Because I've been good with a lot of the medics. Sometimes they give me information. They shouldn't. And because I'm not associated with nobody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Aurora just asked me the same. So. What's Edwin's last name? Braithwaite. Oh, shit. hoping there would be two Edwins. <laughs> what? Well, just in case. She's wandered off that direction towards the road. Was it your horse I took? Okay. That's Thorn. Okay. What's on the ground? Injury happen, do we? Huh? It's not the same. Things in there. Um, I don't think it's. Wow, I cannot say. Um. Who is not currently being treated or isn't mm -hmm. medical staff? If you could please clear the porch, I would really appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. I appreciate it. And also, hi, Wisteria. Huh? Hey, you uh, don't you have were... to say hi to me. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> I didn't. You changed your hair. It's peaches. Okay. Oh. Irene. Mm. Irene, then. Okay. Mm. It's good to see you, Irene. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and you're you're fine, Boone. You came in with her, so. Thank you. Wait, who's hurt? Namala got shot in this couple of red thieves. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be called Peaches no more? Mm-mm. -mm. Irene's my real name. Okay. I've been fine with anyone calling me anything, but I think... feel better. Call me by Irene. Okay. I'll call you Irene then. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You can check up, check up in Valentine. Do you want to wait for them to finish, or, um, um ask someone I, else? I don't know these medics as well, so it might be better going to Valentine. Actually, I wonder if I could ask, um... Thorn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not sorry. Were you around yesterday? Mm-hmm. What? I just wasn't, so... Get us away. Do you want to go back to Thieves or elsewhere? 
Uh, whenever you get a free moment. Uh, design that. Uh, it's gonna be a while. I have to handle all of this afterwards, even. Uh, all right. So. No, that's all right. Um. Edwin, do you know anything about him? He's alive. He's alive. He is? He is. Is he okay? Um, that is to be seen. I'll keep you okay. updated when I know some, when I can. Thank you. He's, he's alive? You, you okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to head to? Uh, probably, um, I, I'd like to go to San Denis, but... Okay. Yeah, I might, um, I might head back to Thieves real quick and just let Aurora know. She was asking. Yeah. She was laying next to him yesterday, so... Tell Jack, too. Yeah, I will. He's worried. Okay, I'll go tell him. Alright. Alright, take care. Only stable gang, guys. The fruit baskets. Mysteria Pony Express style. Let's go. Everything dies. I know. <laughs> Every group I join, sir, falls apart. So whatever you think of me, it, it you know. Alive. He's alive? Mm -hmm. Who? Does I anybody see him? No. Um, and I don't know. Who? Edwin. Edwin. Now let's head to Blackwood on. He's. Um, How'd you find out? Uh. Deputy Thorn. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know how. What his condition is, but I just know he's alive. He's alive. That's something yeah. at least. Mm -hmm. Could you tell Jack? His yeah, I will. Jack's word. Yeah, we're just gonna run check telegrams and we'll go okay. right back. He's just meeting someone. Okay. Thank you, Wisteria. Mm -hmm. Hi, Wisteria. Hey. Come on. Where's Peaches? Uh, she's going back to San Denis. Okay. All right. Where to then, y'all? Staying with her. Mm -hmm. Valentine, Blackwater. It's not Peaches anymore, by the way. It's Irene. Oh. What? Mm hmm. Uh, it, Irene is her real name. Well, respectfully, until she introduces me as 
Irene. I will keep calling her Peaches. Mm hmm. This is just all I know her eyes. Anyway, uh, that Billy Joel individual, mm -hmm. uh, Victor was telling me he'd try to get me work with him, and now I'm not so sure I want to do that. Don't. The fellow's all snake and tongue. Billy Joe Bob? Yeah. He acts without thinking. Kind of reminds me of myself, but... Mm, I think a bit sometimes. My pebble works. Uh, y'all never told me which way we's going, though. Blackest water, Valenstinko. Uh, I'm fine with wherever. All right. I like Valentine. Hi. Valentine Hi. Blades. How's it going? Huh? That's good. How's uh, Blackwater? Not Blackwater, Saint Denis. Also fine. My horse hates it though. Yeah. Because of the the, the cobble. I guess. The streets, I mean. Mm -hmm. Are you too okay? I'm good. Are you? I'm okay. Well, it's just like you two's talking like a bunch of siblings who like had a fucking argument and just haven't spoken to each other for months and y'all seeing each other at like a family dinner. That is oddly specific. I, I weren't gonna say nothing, but he's kind of right. <laughs> y'all okay? Um. Mm hmm. No, he's not okay. Oh, tell all forest will be the problem. Ain't nothing you can say that wouldn't surprise me. It's also all right if you don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I mean, you can also say that too. You want me to leave? Me? Mm hmm. No, why? You're not talking? Um. I don't know what to say. That hasn't stopped you before. I'll be honest, it's really oh, difficult no. right now because my eyes are having trouble seeing the horses so we're just kind of oh, scooting no. along full wagon like and it's just it's making for really awkward conversation because of it i feel i think we uh, all need to get off and then back on to fix it There's a horse. Yeah, see. Oh, it's just one horse? Yeah. Oh, all right. Better? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's an actual carriage. Mm hmm. That. We now, Scoot. Mm -hmm. Scoot. Was, mm -hmm. was you upset at spaghetti with Wisteria? I'm not. So then why is you acting like the old Grumple Bumple? I have been having... Oh! Oh, God. oh my God! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't made... answer that. I just made the mistake that I think your friend did yesterday when he shot Clementine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you shot me, though. I'm okay. Okay. I'm very sorry. And I'm definitely not. <laughs> See, Scout? Wisteria's sorry. 
I'm definitely not mad and not thinking about crossing my arms. And I forgot you. <laughs> what the? Oh my God! <laughs> wagon now <laughs> I warned you at the very least enter your <laughs> damn gun sorry I, are you all right <laughs> I can patch it up I think I shot a hole through one of your flowers uh, my flowers I'm sorry Why is that a thing? This is in progress now. Scout's taking it out on Why? Other... I don't have my belt on. That doesn't make any sense. What's your gun away? <laughs> my gun is away. Okay. Thank you. Oh you, did, you did the sensible thing and emptied the damn fuck. Okay, my gun is away. Now, I'm just going to sit like this. Where are we headed? We around Valentine, but you two's gonna talk your hearts out now. I feel like that is unnecessary at this point in time. Okay, well you can walk to Valentine. What if he shoots? Oh my god. Okay, okay, no. come on. No. Scoot, scoot, <sighs> don't be... I was He's joking, man. Wagon. Get in the wagon. Stop running so goofy. No. Scoot. Scoot. Held it right there. Oh shit. Oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm starting to get an idea of what's going on here. Would you like to enlighten me? Scoot's acting like a teenager. I am a teenager. No. Just Scoot. Oh. Wisteria, you's, you's acting real sensible, reasonable. Scoot, is you having lady troubles with my, you know, with my lily fish? Did she break your heart? No, of course. And why is you acting all grump? I'm not. Yes, you are. I can feel it. Why is you getting so defensive then if you ain't so grump? I'm not. There you go. Chipper chapper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a lot of things going on at the moment. It would be nice now is just not the time. Friends. You, said you, don't, you said you didn't want to talk to me. That's what I said. Now is not the time. Well, I think maybe later when it is a proper time, he will come to us and talk to us. Okay. Right, Scout? Mm-hmm. There, I see. I, I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the ride, Forrest. Mm -hmm. Good to see ya. Thank you for coming on the fishing co-wagoneer. We'll be here all week. 
to take your money. Mm -hmm. So he's mad at me? No, he's I not mad. He, he's not, no. I, I can assure you, he ain't. It's on the wagon. Let's go somewhere. Mm, I need to go get some food. Okay, so mm. now we got a destination of mine. Mm. How he's gonna get there? He's gonna get there in a very fishy manner. Okay. Oh lord. Are we running over Scamp? No. I don't think that's Scoot. Oh, it's Mama. Excuse me, coming through. I don't. Oh Lord. I don't know Horse, if I could. I don't, I don't know. know if that's a good idea. Yeah, but I want to take a stab at it anyways. Oh Lord. Okay. Oh God. Oh my goodness. Oh, well. oh, Forrest. It's fine. Holly Valentine, Forrest Fish is back. Let's go get some food. Where you playing? Two half of him. We got to go flop. SM three zero four. Oh, you okay? Uh, uh, can I get some stew, please? What the uh, hell? Yes, just what? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, coming up. Oh my God, Ren is still here. What is I'm this like guy at the knees. SM three zero four. Did you get that? SM three zero four. Yeah, I got it down. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. What's yours, hon? Uh, mine is WP. Thank you very much, ma'am. Much appreciated. WP. Mm -hmm. Uh, what, say the numbers? Yourself, sir. You're just good, we can oh, hear you at the bar. Uh, I'm okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, find out. Ooh, Queens and Jack! Queen, come oh, down! No, no. What is wrong with you, bleeding horse? Hey, thanks, come on. Have it. No, it's, it's not your bleeding horse. Get off your horse. Nice to meet you. This guy. Watch out, watch out. Yeah, I did get a telegram from Caroline. She was not too happy. Excuse me? Uh huh, Wisteria. Oh, Miss Wisteria. Yeah. Yeah, I got a telegram right. from Caroline a few days ago. Ma'am? Denny, can you hear her? No, I can't hear her. Oh, me neither. Is we oh. just being ignored, then maybe? She, she didn't look she too happy. Just, yeah, she might just not be. I think. All right. Yeah. Uh, I think she's um, too happy. Do you want to hear the telegram? I feel tense. I can read it. Danny, she's there. Yeah. A hole yeah, into your head right now. What the hell did you do? What now? I haven't. I, yeah, I haven't seen Caroline or nothing. I know. Yeah, you told me. You just. I just read your telegram today that you knew she was alive still. How do you know that? Well, it sounds like this Jonathan fella who knows her. Uh, you're Jonathan. What now? Wait, what? what? Oh no, you're not Jonathan. This Jonathan fella. Yeah, Who's yeah, Jonathan? Mm -hmm. We just don't saw him. He was I, just here. I'm, oh, I'm gonna be. In, hey, I'm gonna be entirely her. honest. I'm pretty certain that feller is like probably friends with Caroline and. Yeah, he said that he knows some gal that wants to, who loves me and wants to eat me up or something like that. Danny, I'm 99 percent sure he and, was talking about Caroline. Yeah. Oh yeah. Jonathan? No, definitely. Yeah. yeah he's, Jonathan he's, Redshirt. Yeah. He said. Yep. Yeah, Jonathan and, is. Hmm. Do not talk to Caroline. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, I did send her a telegram back asking her if she wanted to talk about things, but she hasn't responded. <laughs> I'm done, Danny. What, 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 what's, what's going on? Why? 
God. Why would you do that? What? Do, do what? Why would you ask her if she wants to talk? Well, I would I would only do it if I I guess law were present and such, so no one got hurt. But I don't know. It seemed like you know she was, was holding a lot tell of me, tell me if this is true. She was awful upset Did, in her telegram. She said she said you she shot you two times in the boots. She's gonna right. take you to strawberry. And then you kept she talking. Was. She was. Gonna, she was taking us to Tall Tree. To, and then she was gonna keep me then, in a cage. And then, okay. And then you kept talking. Yeah. And she got room then, and she saw you three more times. I was just trying to explain to her why I wouldn't marry her, and yeah. And then you she, think she still wanted to marry you after she shot you two times in the boots? Yeah, she was. She was taking me to Tall Tree to put me in a cage so I couldn't leave her. It was, she literally put snow in my boots so we didn't have to go to the doctor. I think that was the last thing on her mind at that point. So, mm -hmm. she's, she, yeah, she, she had the whole plan. To, she was going to marry me and, and and take me to Tall Tree where we we're going to live forever and ever. And I was going to be tied up or in a cage in one of those cages that she has. And, and I, yeah. What At good? That's what she okay, told me. what good is it gonna do of you talking to her? Well, cause she didn't understand why I didn't want to marry her, and uh, she she was gonna take me to get married. And I couldn't let that happen. What good is it gonna do of you talking to her? Well, I couldn't just let it happen, could I? Now. Now, Denny. And she would have married right me now. and put me in a cage, and I would now, have Denny, never been good been now, Denny. What good now? What good now? Oh, now? Uh -huh. Well, I guess. Uh, well, because she sent a telegram to me, and she was. Who sent there, the first uh, telegram? She did. I didn't. And what I never, she say? She sent me two telegrams before I responded. Well, the first one was the one that was all covered in blood and said right? that, that Danny that hurt. I could go read you the other one. Uh, okay, and got, then she sent you one after after that. Yeah, yeah, and then I responded to that one because I didn't. I wanted to, well, apologize over the telegram and offer her if she needed to talk, but I, I certainly don't expect to or really want to. Uh, the only way I'd want to see her is if there's law present or something like you that. You're gonna you know, die. I don't want no one to get hurt, right? I don't. Want, I don't want that to happen because I. You were not supposed to be alone last time. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't plan on going and anywhere alone with her. You ended up alone with her. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, there's no way I'm. You should uh, just yeah. never, ever, ever see her alone again, ever. Yeah, no, I, I would not allow her ever. to approach me in a state where I'm by myself. Ever. Without. Just don't talk to her. Spending myself. Just, yeah. just don't. Well, I just, I don't want her to. She's hold not a grudge your problem. She, I feel like she's gonna she's come find me problem. and do something to me though. She's not your problem. Just don't talk to her and don't make her mad. Well, I feel like she's already mad, but... Well, don't make it I'm worse. All right. Well, yeah. Don't, don't talk to her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll try not to, I guess. As long as I don't see her, uh, I guess I have nothing well, to worry don't, about. And don't, don't send her telegrams. That she yeah, can well, just reread yeah, right. over and over and over and over again and get mad. Okay. I guess so. How do you, what, how do you know all this? You talked to her? Yes. Okay. I wanted her side of the story. And I know that hmm. every side of the story is a little bit different. Oh, yeah. So, I talked to her. All right. Well, that's good, mm -hmm. I guess. But that means you don't got to talk to her. Because she don't want to kill me. Really? Danny, why would you want okay. to kill me? Wait, what? What? Why would you want to kill me, Danny? Oh, kill you? Yes, yeah, she don't want oh. to kill me. Oh, good. Yeah, I thought you said she didn't want to kill me. Oh, yeah, then, no, I don't know about you. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, she did. She did want to kill you, like when she first oh. got out. But no, I don't think she does. But don't give her oh, a reason. Okay. To. Yeah. Well, I hope not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I think try. when you talk, you make things worse. 
I guess. I guess that's the case here. If somebody's mad oh. at you. Mm hmm Yeah. Don't give people heart. Did you see where Scout went? No, I haven't seen him for a while. He, he isn't talking to me. Really? Huh. Well, he's talking hmm. to me, but he's not talking okay. to me right. Hmm. Why is that? I don't know. Hmm. Strange. Sorry, I walked away. I was angry. And I don't want to yell oh. when I'm angry. So I just walk away. Oh, it's not because I don't care. That's good, though. I guess mm -hmm. that's a good way to handle situations. Yeah. It's just because I it's need to idea. think about it. I usually, sure. I'm trying sure. to say something, but I, I get angry. I'm going to try to find Scout, though, because. Okay. Um, I don't know why he's upset. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen him recently, so I don't know. Hmm. Okay. All right. Take care. Good luck. Yeah. Bye. Like went in here, didn't he? She gets manipulated so easy peasy. Bite out of the wood boulder, Jesus. Rock beats grass.
Five minutes for stereo. Just, I think mean, that's pay. She's all yours if you were waiting on spot. I'm waiting on scout. I did too. Try to lean in if you can. There we go. I'm gonna get it. Oh. This one. No. Oh, no, that's what I was going to do. Not there, not there. The hell? You can't even grow in Denny. I can't get my hands out of my pocket to do anything. Huh. We got a you know where Scout went? Mm, I saw him, but I didn't think that he saw me or he's I, pissed off at me and walked right by my and I, didn't I, say hi. How long I think ago? He went, mm. I think he went to go lay down and take a nap. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. About like 15 minutes ago or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Danny, give me that $10. Trying, let's try again. All if right. I see him, I'll let you know that she was looking for him. Mm -hmm. I sent him a telegram to you, but... All right. I'm heading down to see Danny. All right. Okay. Thank you. Be safe. You have bought right. my silence. and pay you two and stay it. Hey, did the scout go to bed? I don't mind. Uh, I you think... Know? I think so. I ain't seen him around. Okay, I ain't seen him neither. Yeah. Okay. Is you busy right now? Me? Uh, not really. Can I hire you for something? For what? So, um... I'm currently in the market for bringing something new and pop in to Fishy Business Fish and Co. And uh, I thought no better than that than to make a fishy hot sauce. Oh. Thing is, uh, the pepper that I want is in the snow. Where in the snow? Uh, around the Coulter area. Mm -hmm. Um, I ain't never been up there, so it'd uh -huh. be a first for me. But, uh, but I'm thinking, huh? Okay, continue. I'm thinking we get ourselves uh, some fuzzy clothes, some food and water, and we head up there to go find the pepper. 
and I bring him back and I go make my hot sauce. We's gonna call it Scalding Scales. Or sca Scales, sca Scalding Scales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm in. I'll tell you where it ain't. Where what? I'll tell you where the pepper ain't. Oh, where it ain't? Mm hmm. Because I've been up in Coulter a lot and I never found pepper up there. Oh, uh, it's hard to say. It's covered in snow. But. Mm, it, it should stick out like a lump. Maybe. If it, if, okay. Do you know Magnolia? I do know Magnolia. She might know where it is. Oh, I got it in my nature book. I, I, I know where it oh, will be. you know be. where it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then let's go. Mama. Uh, I, 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 I didn't even tell you where to... Where we's going to be grabbing it. Or where, oh, where? or how. Or, uh, around the culture area. But I'm going uh, to pay y'all a uh, $100. Oh, okay. Then let's go. So, uh, go get some fuzzy clothing, y'all. You, you Forrest, only Forrest, you know I lived in oh. Coulter, right? Uh, I didn't know that, no. Yeah, I lived in me. Coulter. I might have to grab some new clothes, actually. Uh, you need any money for that? No, I got some. Mm -hmm. That was a very uh, anxiety-filled answer. Hmm. I know, I got scared. I could hear the tension in your voice. <laughs> I have a lot of tension right now. I could probably cut it with butter, honestly. I cut know, it like I'm butter. Scared. Cut it with your mustache. Probably. You're saying that like his mustache all the time. Oh, yeah. Jesus, come on. Hi, Mom. Mm -hmm. Howdy. Hi, Eustace. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm okay. Hey, throw you a telegram back. But, um, Did you find any oh, okay. people to mm -hmm. put on your list? I'm going Sorry, on an I... adventure right now. Oh, things All right, good. I'm yeah. Iron Adelaide right now, okay. so. Oh. Oh. Dude. Can I watch? That's interesting that he would. You could listen mm -hmm. outside. Okay. Who's just going to pair him up with? Where are you firing her? Hold on. I don't know. Upstairs, I think. I think Mom was trying to pull a fast one on me. Oh, I I'm ready yeah. to talk. Upstairs. I'll be whispering. Um, she's she's not. No. Mama? Is she, she alright? Is she seasoned? Mama. She's dying again. Miss Christine, Mama. I think you have a frog in your all right. throat. I'm here. Okay. Alright. Uh, Adelaide and Eustace, let's just go upstairs and, uh, get this over with, goddamn. What are we getting yep. over? I mean... Mysterio, we matching. With our hats. Oh, yeah. It is just different colors. Oh. She's sneaking. I ain't gonna say nothing. Before I knew a lot of what happened. All right, oh, and how it affected Eustace here, and Eustace is, of course, I don't know if you know this, a co-owner here at the bathhouse. Um, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know, but. Eustace, you wanna uh, say what you gotta say? Yeah, I appreciate all your hard work here, but the thing is, is that, um, I wish I could separate my private feelings and the personal job that this takes to get done, but it turns out I can't, and it's, but I know you're not, you like to pretend you're not aware of a lot of things, but I know that you know what you did was wrong when I you showed up. I know it's wrong. Let me talk, please. Sorry. When we had that discussion, and I'm so tired of talking about all this, let me just put it out there. 
when we had that discussion and I was crying and I was pouring my heart and soul out to you to where I felt empty inside. And I did the same with Tom and both of you. And you both looked me in the eyes and said, oh, my gosh, you sister, of course we understand. We respect you that and we understand. And God damn, I, for what happened, I've been so understanding. And then for you two to show up on that hill with the binoculars, staring, making a scene, after you told me you wouldn't be there, was to spit in my face. I've been so understanding, especially with that situation. I think I've been more than understanding. I didn't hit you. I didn't do anything. I, I didn't. I didn't do anything except just ask you not to come. And you two both couldn't even do that. And that hurt me on a level I didn't realize. You like to apologize <laughs> a lot. And unfortunately, I like to be a forgiven person. But I can't. I care about this place a lot. And I'm going to be honest with you. I did say that I just wouldn't be here when you were working. I know Mama likes you for some reason. I don't understand. I think you only care about yourself, and that's going to get people hurt. But I don't. You let me finish talking. Shit. And you'll have your say. I don't trust you. I don't trust you with my family. And this woman here is my family. And I'm not going to cry and I'm not going to get all upset. I'm just. If I never see your face or Thomas' face again, I'll be okay with it. Shit. Bet as it may, I know I'm going to see your face again. But I'd like for it to not be voluntary. And I'd like for it to not um, be when I'm working. Shit. I want to fire you. Right here, right now. I know it's not going to solve anything. I know you go crying to Tommy. I know you might dangle me off the cliff. I know you might stab me. Because I know you like working here. I know there's repercussions to everything I'm saying right now. I know what you're capable of when you don't get your way. Or when you think you're doing what is something that's right. So what I'm doing is giving options. Uh -uh. I have no problem leaving. It doesn't bother me at all. Mama, I love you. I'm going to be here for you forever. But I can't, I can't do this voluntarily. I would like to fire you, but I understand you're a hard worker. And I understand Mama wants to keep you close for whatever reason she has. I don't support this at all, and I would like you gone forever, but I'm not the deciding factor here. I said my Mama do it. and that is, uh, I just won't be around, and I'm fine with that. It, it's not a, I'm not saying that either. I'm fine. I have my family, and that's all I care about. And by family, I mean Mama. If that's the way it needs to be, then that's the way it needs to be. And I'm oh, not going to do this else. and have you be mad at me forever, Mama, because I have an opinion about something. This woman can say sorry all she wants. She's done the damage. Intentionally. Adelaide? Yeah? Do you have anything to say to that? I do. You know, I, I want to respect your wishes not to go, and, and and Tommy really wanted us to. He just thought it was best for us. And 
you don't trust me around the ones you love, but what I did was to protect, you know. No, 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 ma'am. No, ma'am. I didn't want to do it. Need... Oh, my God. All of you. I'll leave. I don't want to put you away from Mama, all right? That's your family, and I already took someone you cared about, and I don't mind leaving. Oh. I do love it here, but I ain't going to be mad at you, all right? I understand. Now, I wish things could have been different, but it is what it is, Adela. His wife. I'm feeling emotional. But why? Good music timing. She hired me after I walked through the door. Thank you shut the fuck up, Thomas. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with that, Mom. I'm just saying, stop acting like she's the only one that does anything. She's not. I'm really good with tools, though, so I can see why. I'm tired. I'm tired of you all. I was there. I'm in Swisteria. I'm gonna ask you to shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Huh? <laughs> I Dakota. Mm hmm. Hey, can I borrow five dollars? <laughs> yeah. I didn't think he'd actually give me five dollars, but I'm coming up here. I swear to God, Wisteria, I'm losing my goddamn mind. That's Thomas, right? Did I say it to the wrong person? No, I think that's Thomas. Okay. <laughs> How are you? I don't know who Thomas is. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I barely know him myself. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Yep. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah, I walked into the bathhouse earlier, and I got created with a. Oh, it's just wisteria. It's fine. And they went back to whatever they were doing. So. Mama wants to keep her because they're... It, it's be, it's better to keep your enemies close. And it doesn't fucking make sense to me. No, I mean... <laughs> Jackson Sissica. What the fuck did he do? I just saw him yesterday. Attempted second degree murder. On who? Manuel. Who I believe also works at the bathhouse. Yes, he does. Why? I don't know. Um, I guess Manuel was shooting because of the... I always get their name wrong. Um, because I want to say, uh, the Coltons. You know them? Yeah. Shit, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Well, they were around. They caused a shit show yesterday. Oh, God. And I guess Manuel was shooting. At Jack and Forrest and Sheriff Lewis's carriage. And Jack got real angry and shot me well five times while oh. he was already down. Oh, that's not good. So he is in Sissica. Uh, I'm just tired of everyone. Mm -hmm. It's real nice down in San Denis right now. Do you ever want to do, um, on illegal goods and, um, have to be neutral with everybody? I just want to not exist anymore, to be honest with you. I'm just don't tired of all this. Don't say that. No, I just want to. I understand, but at the same time. How can she be mad at me for this? I don't know. She's mad. That don't make no sense. I'm sorry. She, we fired Adelaide. We fired. We fired Adelaide. You sis. 
We fired Adelaide, and guess what? I, I know. Under I understand keeping your enemies close. I still talk to her. I always oh. knew where she was. I knew she was down in Thieves. I went to the bar down there. I still talk to her. I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna go talk to her. I, I, I gotta quit. I can't do this shit anymore. Okay. If you wanna... Um... I'm staying at the house, um... That's south of, uh... Flat next station, like southeast right. of it. It got like another bed up, like in the rafters, or you can take the bed below if you yeah. need a place to stay. It's just, Appreciate it. it's just me there. So, let me go get her before she disappears. I'll okay. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going up to Coulter right now. So, sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, I could be really hurtful with my words. Uh, yeah. Makes sense enough. Okay, you want say me to make them... You want. you want me to make them cry, or...? No, you can just say whatever you feel like you should be saying in the moment. Just like... Who are we making something. cry? Danny's uh, done playing messenger instead of speaking to me, so I'm just letting yeah. this fella pick what he wants to say. What should I say, Wisteria? Hmm... Mm. I already told him to shut the hell up. Uh, this is my last one because I want to go get changed. Eh, is that what you want to say? Um, mm -hmm. I'm burnt out on uh, Me stuff too. right now. I'm gonna make them all yellow. I'm gonna make them cry. Okay. Baby, bye. Okay. <sighs> I can't wait. You need to go too. What's that called when, um, a mother bird pushes all the baby birds out of the nest? Murder? Oh my good lord, I don't think that's the right term. <laughs> I don't I think, think it's murder. I think mama's murdering uh, all it? her babies. Oh. Yeah, I... Like, metaphorically, I just, or... I just told Dakota I feel like I'm probably gonna get fired from the bathhouse. Hmm. Well, if you keep talking back to mama, you will. Mm, I wasn't, ta wasn't talking back to her. Yes, you were. If you oh, don't realize you... You're talking back to me, sir. Um, what? Mr. Thomas is very argumentative. I mean... Unless you pay him money. I don't know if he understands what back talking means. Hmm. Like, watch this. Mr. Thomas, I think that your new mustache looks even worse than the other one. I mean, that's just a plumb lie on your end. See, he's back talking. Hmm. Uh-huh. What? I'm not gonna just roll over. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna stand up for myself. Didn't get fired, then. If you're gonna get fired. <laughs> All right. Or thrown off a cliff. I mean, if I get fired, it's fine, but I'm not gonna say anything that's gonna get me thrown off a cliff. You sure about what? that? Mm, I, I yeah. don't know. Why don't you respect people, sir? I... what? I do. I don't think so. You don't respect your elders? You don't respect mama? I respect the hell out of that woman. You back talk her, sir. What? I'm so confused on what the hell is going on right now. She's gonna then cut your pecker off. Dakota! Oh, Lord. Dakota! Oh? Dakota! Yeah? I'm back. Alright, what did you say? Hey, I'm... Are you, are you secured? Sure yeah. I said he looks god awful, dreadful, and red. He looks terrible uh -huh. and plaid. He's a lazy, uh -huh. sad excuse for a man. Uh huh. And he's a sack of shit. <laughs> and he told me All to right. tell you that you are a beautiful flower and as sweet as the valley, and to give you this. Hmm. Don't. Give him, don't give me that. Tell him he can keep it, but give him. I, 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 just, I gotta go get changed. Give him this. <laughs> Actually, nah. What is that? Is tell it... him that I almost gave him back his soap, but tell him that I'm keeping it to use it on Scott. <laughs> what is that? 
it's it's uh it's vanilla body butter. Uh huh. Is Mr. Thomas insecure about his mustache? Yeah, he is. No. I also uh, figured out that he was bald in earlier. I'm get I'm getting what? changed. All right. I am fine. so changed. <laughs> Keep that for yourself. All right. On. Keep what for myself? The chocolate milk and the flowers, then, if you ain't gonna give it back to him. I gave it to you. Oh. Oh, yes, you did. I don't want it. I gotta go get changed for the winter. Hmm. Does anybody want flowers and chocolate milk? I do. All right, perfect. I used to be assistant manager here. All right, there you go. Why why isn't you anymore? Take that. I'll give you oh, a egg. Perfect, thank you. Because mama came back. Is it gonna hatch or is did it one of those eggs that ain't got no baby her? in it? I don't know. We just found mm -hmm. them in or the nest. Laugh at the All right, other I'm gonna keep it warm oh. under my armpit and then see. That's okay. All right. Understandable. All right, mm -hmm. perfect. You let me know. Sometimes you gotta do what's best for you. Thank you. People will stab people over mama. So I'm not saying it's mama that's going to hurt you. I, I feel like you're trying to threaten me right now, but I haven't done anything that's worth being threatened over. I think and I'm very confused. I think that's your opinion. I mean more of an observation because I don't have the full scope of what is happening right now and I'm very confused. No, that's why I'm trying to tell you. Because you're observing wrong. Why, why doesn't he get it? I don't know. I'm trying I'm to... So, I'm actually trying to help. Dense. I'm so confused. Are... I'm actually not, like, not trying to... Mm-hmm. Just don't talk oh, back, God mister, and you'll be alright. damn it. What? I hear a snake. I need a bath first. Why the hell is Danny dressed like one of them? One of them? Because, Why does he look like that? Oh, because Mr. For because Forrest uh, just went in to insult it. Oh. He really took that to heart, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Hmm. I'm sorry I'm not being rude to you. I was just trying to get you to understand. Admittedly, I still don't. I don't know how to help you, sir. Like, I... Did I say something wrong? Yes. What did I... Was it what I said about her hiring me? Yeah, you, you just... There's been a... This bathhouse has a history. A long and murderous one. Uh huh. So you need to tread lightly. Welcome to the family. Uh huh. Okay. He's being adopted by the best. God damn it! I'll leave. I'll leave the tongue. Wisteria. Yes. With you, mister. I wasn't really paying attention, so I didn't even know what you said. Yeah. Anything oh, well, you can say behind my back, you say to my face. What? I would say all that to your face. Uh -huh. gotta agree with Interesting. Funny how you say it to everyone else first. If this bathhouse has a long and murderous fucking history, right. you'd do well to shut your mouth. Okay. Get out of my sight. Danny looks stupid. Um, very much does. He looks like a I'm sorry. Guy. Get out of my sight.
still ain't changed. No, I've been trying to get changed for a while. It'll be all right. You'll get through this. I just, I just want to throw these big chaps I got on, man. Uh, how's you doing, Wisteria? Is you okay? Mm hmm He's ready to move? Mm hmm Well, I'm not, so that's bad news, number one. <sighs> Is he still in there? He said he wasn't gonna take long. Alright, well, I feel like it's done been a while. Did I say something? I didn't. <laughs> What'd you say? I didn't mean to say something bad. I didn't think you said anything bad. I think you was just trying to help the man, ain't you? Well. I mean, he does have a bad habit of talking back because you tell him that he's got a habit of talking back and he said, no, sorry. I ain't. Mm -hmm. Not no, mm, interesting that you'd make that observation. How may I improve for you? Mama said I uh, to say things behind her back that I wouldn't say to her face. Mm -hmm. And I said I would say those things to her face. Because I didn't mm -hmm. think they were wrong. Yeah. And then she told me to get out of her sight. What the hell? Is she done mad about you moving down to Saint Denis? I don't know. I think she's mad that I said the bathhouse has a long and murderous history. I mean... From what I can tell, it does. So I mean, uh, it does. Being honest, and I think it's, I thought the employees should know mm -hmm, before they get wrapped up in something that they ain't ready for. Mm -hmm. I feel like if anyone hasn't picked that up in the mm -hmm. five minutes that they stand out front here, I mm -hmm. maybe they's a little too dense to be working here. Mm -hmm. well, that's All it why does is take a little bit of loitering to figure it out. That's why I was trying to. Knock sense into that man. He seems a little bit dense. But I don't think I'm welcome here no more, so... I need to leave. He's always welcome in Valentine. No, I don't think so. I can sneak you through the window and give you a scrub down when you need it. But I think that she's still welcome in Valentine. Of course. I don't know. I've never had somebody to tell me, tell me to get out of their sight before. She ain't known for being the kindest woman. Never been mean to me before. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just a bad day. I would hope so. I want to go to Colton. I think that you might need it. Take some time to clear your head. I'm gonna check my telegrams first. Alright.
Like, literally. <laughs> my glasses fell off I knocked them off my fucking head Oh shit, I didn't- I didn't read it out for you guys. Sorry, it said I miss you. Um, Mama told me to get out of her sight. Eustace quit. Um, I'm heading up to Coulter with Forrest soon. I feel sad in Valentine. It used to be so good, and now it just sucks. That's a good way to put it. Edgy in a fun way, now just edgy. Valentine across three servers and it's never been good. Peace. Yes. 
it's amazing. I could make these for you. Make these for you. I think that's gonna happen. How was Drea? They was done looking for you by the telegram office. Oh god damn it! I'm sorry. Be safe. Yeah, this one made from good alligator skin. Top. Yeah, it looks terrible. I don't like it much though. So. I'm man style. I prefer some snake skin over gate skin too. No, she's there not there. Big, Big snakes. Biggest one of these. Yeah, like oh. a baby big snake. Big like Katarina. Ooh. Yeah. Katarina! Yeah. Where do you find snakes like this? Oh, hello, Fee. Mats. Hi, we's about to go find the spiciest pepper in the world. You want to come with? I would like to see this, yes. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Howdy. It's our room. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. a room up in the front. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Day. Hi, Day. Well, good Hi. night, Tommy. Yeah, you too, Katarina. You too. What's uh, up? What's I it? Would like to drive. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it has been a long time since I've seen you, Fish. Where have you been? Uh, out and about. Fish business, you know what I mean? Ugh. Yes, I need more, uh, the cocaine gun. Oh, you need more cocaine? Yes, I like these gum. Oh, yeah, I has got, I has got plenty of cocaine gum. Oh, I just, I, I just, I don't personally indulge in it no more! <laughs> <laughs> Can't you don't this. indulge in cocaine gum no more! No. I need these gum. Yeah, well, I'm, I mean, I do business <laughs> in it, but I don't personally use it no more, is what I'm saying, Katarina. Can I eat some gum now? Um, uh, I, I ain't got none on me at the minute. Uh, they's back at the warehouse. Oh, Horace, you need to give her some gum. I think she's gonna get mad. Okay, okay, all right. Um, um, hold on. I'm gonna go to the genital store real quick. I've been uh, looking all over for you, fish, and you... I'm you so nowhere. sorry. I thought I you die. I'm everywhere. I thought I died. I ain't like Fiddle. That fella died once. Somehow. This man, he showed me the cocaine gun. It is so good, and then he show up no time. Hmm. Huh. What is his name? Force? I'm Lyra. Oh, my name is Wisteria. All right. One box Hello, of cocaine. Hello, I'm Katarina. Uh, and how much is this? Ah, uh, spray, man. Don't worry about it. Oh, good, good. Say it'll fiver for all the good things you do. Thank right. you, thank now, you. I want to go get this Peruvian puff pepper. It's this pepper. Allegedly, apparently, this pepper grows up around the culture area, so he's going up to the snowy biome. Oh, you, uh, this uh, snowy mountain. Yeah, I ain't never been up there, so my directions may be a bit... Well... Um, yeah. Um, strange. The way you want to take it is, um... If you look at the, um... The Barrel Lagoon... Um, uh-huh. I'll seize it. So, you see the part where it... If you're going below it, and then there's the Wah... And there's like you go north or south you want to take the south part because the north part is a cliff and i don't know if the wagon can go on it uh well guy well let's just make this shit up as we go okay i believe there is a uh a down spot here it doesn't help that we's going in the foggy Yes, I uh, do not know this area so well. That's all right. Neither do I. That's what makes it an adventure. Did you oh. say your name oh. is uh, Wisteria? Mm-hmm. 
And, and I'm Lyra. Lyla. Lyra. Lyra? Mm hmm. Uh huh. Hey, sorry. I, um, English, not first language. Yeah. I'm forest fish. That's okay. It's fish. Oh. That's me. I'll die. Okay. 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 Why is it you I give don't up know the feel uh, about this. Well, it should be fun. Mm hmm. There ain't nothing to be scared of, y'all. I'm the best wagon driver. Mm hmm. Okay, we're taking it real slow. Mm hmm. What Feels was that about the kind? I tell you I can't swim. Hey, oh, fun. Fun. You this is like swimming up. and more like grabbing onto a rock. Can you grab onto a rock? I, I hope so. Yeah, that's that's just what you gotta do, so. You know, uh, last time I see you, fish. Uh, uh, last time was with that, uh, that one fella when we was doing, like, when I rubbed cougar balls on my face. Yes, and oh, I, uh, look. wake up in carbon. Oh, yeah, you don't want to, yeah. Yeah, not through there. Yep, up a little Gotta bit cross more. cross first. Mm -hmm. Over by, uh, the tall tree. Mm-hmm. I wake up in carbon, and, uh, out the front door was big grizzly bear and pack of wolves. Oh, God. Yes, I just swim away. Well, shit. Oh. I've had a, oh god. Uh, you take a wagon over a big rock. I don't mean to. Trust me. Hazelnuts ain't meant to be, uh, ain't meant, ain't meant to be down here. Oh, I think there's a bridge I could cross up here. It's a tree. Oh, this ain't right. gonna go over. I don't what think do this mean? is. I, mm, we'll see. Uh, it, it ain't here though. It's further oh, up. It's not. No, it oh. ain't. It ain't. Oh, it ain't this way. <laughs> I thought. I thought. I thought it was that way. My bad. My bad. No, it's that, It's more the other. It's. It's. It's a. Th this way. <laughs> Listen, I ain't fuck know where I'm going, all right? I'm just... No, it ain't. It, um, I think it's more... I think it was more up the river. Like, way uh, up... You know what? I'm just gonna take the long way. Uh-huh. I'm gonna take the long way. Uh -huh. that, that, that'd probably be easier. I hate wagons. Mm -hmm. What a passion. Hold on to your butts, y'all. Uh, wait. Good, uh, what there you do? Good in there. Y'all know, I'm just getting ready to turn. Oh, not skid it. Um. So you wanna? Yeah, you're gonna wanna cross. I, I can cross through here, right? Mhm. Mm yeah, just straight across right here. Okay. Uh, please don't be too deep. Please don't be too deep. Please don't be too deep. Oh my god, hazelnuts, you strong son of a bitch. We made it. Now you're just gonna keep him on a go. Like, do, oh, fuck. Whoa. No, what? <laughs> oh, easy. That was oh, bad God. driving. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> You need me to clear ores. No, 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 it's okay. I mean, <gasps> oh, you know where culture is? Yeah. You keep going. No, go to the left. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. There's a road. No. Forest. <laughs> oh, I got it. Oh, oh Lord. No. Oh, we're okay. See? See? Things are fine. Yeah, except you want to go over that bridge. That under it. Oh. I want to go over it. Well, oh, I mean, no. <laughs> we're fine. We can just kind of go around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got it. I got mm -hmm. it. I'm, I'm, yep, I'm it's out. not. Yep, it's not. I, I definitely didn't live in Coulter for over a month. 
Yeah, no, I'm, uh, uh huh. My crate probably still isn't up there. Or nothing. Okay, this is a not okay. good. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> now we're gonna be all right. It's it's gonna be fun. We're we're we are hunky dory, tiki boo, peachy cane all in between. All right. Uh huh. Except you really yeah you need to. Okay, this is. Hmm. Okay. What? No, you're fine. There should be. I just never go this way. Oh oh. Oh <laughs> no, hazelnuts. <laughs> he just Come really on. ain't a fan of roads, is he? No. <laughs> well, Zay, we made it. This ain't it. Coulter's right around the corner. Oh my god. No, it is so far. It is just up over this way. Huh? Okay. Right. Now, now you're not wrong as much. Yes. Yeah, keep going up this road. Okay, Bert. See, we mm -hmm. made it in one piece. Mm -hmm. What did I say? What did I say? Okay, now take a left here. Oh. Oh. There, right here? Uh. That's I think a, she uh, meant the road. Say wisteria, that's a rock. I meant the road. <laughs> oh. All right, let's. You know. Let's go back. Usually when people. Okay, left. Uh, there. Yeah, this way. Yeah, yep, okay. Oh, wait, I know this way. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, we're going to be fine. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because I'm steering. Mm-hmm. Yeah, please be careful. Please be careful. Okay. I do not have much faith in my oh, 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 careful. <laughs> that's it. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. We're good. Mm -hmm. All is well. Mm -hmm. Hey, why do you need these pepper? I'm going to make a uh, hot sauce. Oh, hot sauce. Yeah, we're just going to call it Scalding Scales. And I'm going to make a fortune from it. Think of the amount of tuppence I get for it. It is better than cocaine gum. Extremely. It'll make your mouth tingle way more, I think. Mm -hmm. I need to try. Well, once we get that pepper, you can bop from it. Should be enough for all of us here. <laughs> I just can't believe I'm in. Yeah. Are those wolves? Where? Oh no, never mind. They're coyotes. I, 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 I admire your dedication to not being on the road. Thank you. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know if he's smart. No, no, it's smart. We was just going a different path, alternate path. See? See? Okay, back on the road. We're on the road. Mm -hmm. Now, make a right. There you go. You've been up to Coulter before, right? No, first oh, time. Okay, okay. Now, there's going to be a part, though, Forrest. You want to let the horse take the reins, I swear. Ah, eh, maybe you don't. Fuck it. Okay. I'm not sure what she's talking about. Oh, you'll but... see. You'll see. Right. But I, um, I oh. trust hazelnuts very, uh -huh. very well. Uh huh. Yep. Just keep going straight here and you'll know exactly what I mean. Is uh -huh. this the same horse that run off thief? Hazelnuts? Yes, it's the no, same no. horse that uh, no. almost died. No, that was no, that was Maybell and Maybell did die. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I got a new horse though named Pecker. Yeah, see, right up here. Right, right up. Whoa. Yep. See, right here. What's, what's going on? Snowdrift in the clouds. Okay. I do not see well at all. This one actually ain't the band. It's usually a lot worse. Ooh, uh, that wasn't so bad. Uh, that one's a coyote. Alrighty. Let me briefly check the map for Rune. <sighs> so apparently north around the Spotter's Gorge, we should find the Peruvian Puff Pepper. Oh, I don't know if this carriage can make it up there. We might. We can try, but making it up that that path is real tough. 
Okay, you want to make up to the left. If you're going to Spider Gorge. Yeah. Yeah. And go through the. Go through Coulter right here. Where you were Yeah, I lived up here. Oh, I could not live here. It's too cold. Ooh. I'm starting to feel sad already. Mm. Now, if there are bulls or anything while we are out, uh, try to get on a rock. Oh man, I should have brought. I should have brought my guppy defender. I fight a pack of wolves earlier with that uh, with hunting knife. I fell them off with my fists. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, uh, I can't see shit. <laughs> I do not see. Yeah, just keep going straight. Going straight. Uh huh. But I can't see anything. Well, yeah. It's because we're so high up and we're near the glacier. Oh. This must be a very good hot sauce. Oh, it's gonna probably be the best damn spanking hot sauce I'm ever gonna make. Whoa. Is that it? No. Where? I don't know. I thought that went by. Oh, keep your eyes out for a for a pear shaped. Oh, well, someone's dead over there. Oh, that must be where, where the pepper's at. Where? There's someone come die for pepper. Here. Jenny Kirk. Or is it, am I reading that right? Jen, Jen, Jenny, Jenny Rink? Rirk? Ryrick? I, I can't fucking read that. I think you're right. I think it's Kirk. Oh, it's Kirk. I do not know. Don't worry, buddy. We'll pluck one of those peppers and bring them right back for you. You didn't don vain, Mr. or Mrs. Kirk. Mm. Well, yeah, but I'm sure. Pray to spirits and uh, listen to their answer. Yes. Oh my. Oh God. Give them a sacrifice. What kind of sacrifice? Like a pepper? No, no, like uh, life. Oh. You don't want me to kill something? Hey, they do not need sacrifice. Wait, no, no. you. Why? No, no. What? Many, what? Uh, baby what? alligator. No, you's gonna be. Katarina, you use offending those vegetarians, man. They they think them plants are alive too. I do not know what a vegetarian means. What's a I vegetarian? A plant is different kind of. No, life. A pl plant's got life in it though. You's killing no, a lot. That's a good spirit, sacrifice. They do not have spirits. They are not the same kind. I suppose so. Oh. If you die and you become spirit, you do not leave its plant. Hey, oh but you become fish. It's up here. Oh, shit. Oh. This is us. Yeah, oh. I don't know how I feel about this. We are on us. I probably shouldn't leave the wagon on ice. I'm gonna see if I can get her out. I don't know how you're getting the wagon out of here. I'll be honest. Oh. 
Oh, I guess maybe like this. Okay, oh, okay. Fine. Oh, it's fine. All right, let's get looking for that pepper. Okay. <laughs> it is around here. Uh huh. huh? It's um. Oh God, so close. Supposed to be up here somewhere. Yeah. yeah. That's a bear. It's in Tennessee. You need a lot. I don't know. Do you need a lot to see the uh, I don't know. pepper? Here, take one of these. Uh, if you can reach it. Is there really an herb up here? Wow. Oh. Oh, Is there? Y'all find the pepper? No. Fuck. I mean, at least you're not constantly running through sticks. Ugh. You found it? No. Did you? No. Where's it supposed to be? Uh, it grows on a decline somewhere. What's the difference between an incline and a decline? Decline, it means it's going down. Well, yeah, but how do you know, like, if it's going up or going down? Uh, by the rocks going up and the rocks going down. I, I don't know. Like, this is an incline. Right. But then you can go down. It's a decline. Right, so how do you know which is which? That's a good question. I ain't no mathematician. Me neither. So it goes on a decline, and then what? Uh, somewhere. So it grows on a hill somewhere. That's what I'm... Yeah. Oh. Huh? What? What? Uh, I thought I saw something. Oh, wait. Huh? What did you say? Oh! What? Here, look. <whistles> oh, wow. Okay! Uh, where did everybody else go now? What the fuck? Wait, where aren't they? Uh... Oh no, did I run it over? <laughs> oh no! What? Is there still some scavenge bowl? I, I, uh, we'll worry about the pepper later. Uh, oh. Guys! We found the pepper! 
player. But um, I think I may have ran it off. <laughs> <laughs> you ran it over. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it was right here. <laughs> this is where the wagon came from. <laughs> is there? I I How? I just need it. Uh, what if it's buried? <laughs> hold on. I mean, I'm gonna. Dig for some seeds, maybe? I can grow <laughs> some? No, I'd have to grow it in the snow. Fuck! Um... <laughs> uh, you know, I'm gonna take the seeds. I can figure something out. Okay. Maybe you can... Uh... Hmm. Grow some... Uh... <laughs> it's, it's gotta be like in a snowy climate. Um... I don't know. Hmm. Huh. You don't find pepper. I, I, uh, well, I don't. it's, um... <laughs> How do you well... know pepper is even here? <laughs> well... Uh, my book. No, it's a... Well, it's... Whatever's left. <laughs> <laughs> Lara, you be careful on that ice. Seems pretty thick. Says that broken one over there. Well, that's over there. I'm over here. Well, now you better be careful on that ice. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Of course. Of course. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to slip. I actually didn't mean to slip. I was gonna. Oh. God, I was getting my lasso <laughs> out. <laughs> I was gonna You're dance good? over on the side. I'm fucking cold. <laughs> Take off your jacket. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna freeze. I'm gonna. <laughs> 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 I don't know why. Do you have any wood? Because I, I forgot to bring any. I don't have any sticks. <laughs> we are the least prepared people. I've never come to a culture <laughs> this unprepared. Oh god. I had food. Lyra. <laughs> Just be careful oh, no. when you slippery. I have these. You can wrap these round you, fish. Here. <laughs> it is not very big, though. <laughs> it is what skin of this? rabbit. Wow, we're gonna use it. <laughs> What'd she give what you? Is better than she gave me rabbit skin. Well, just wrap it around your face or something. You're gonna freeze. Yes, wrap it around it dried? face like mask. Yeah, is it dry? It is dry. It needs For the most part. <laughs> okay, I'll, I really need a fire. Okay. Oh, Asteria, could you could you drive the wagon? Uh huh. Me. I didn't mean to. I was gonna hoof. dance over the edge like a shithead. <laughs> Let's go. Start up a D arc, you're taught not to waste. Uh. Thank you. We're driving. Mm -hmm. Someone, anyone. Yep, I'm driving. It should be okay. Maybe. Fire, homeward bound. Mm -hmm. And we can I stop feel, in, uh, uh, better now. Maybe you can... Are the seeds bossing? That's where technically all the spice comes from. Maybe you can eat that and it will heat you up. Don't worry, I'm sure that was nothing. This is a cliff! Oh, Lord. oh no. I realized. I just that was a what? Nothing! Okay. Mm -hmm. well, we small. almost died uh, right off cliff. Yeah, but we didn't. 
is a good thing we did not uh, ride like fish. He mm -hmm. go too fast. Katarina a hard time about living in swamp. I do not know how you live here. Um This is really fun. Uh uh oh. Get her right here and sit her down on the wagon. I do not see. Just hold on. I um, think... Let I'm me crying. see. Hold on. I need a light over here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm crying. Oh no, no. I am. Um... I have things <laughs> to do sieges, but I do not have here. They're all Norse. This shit's gonna be freezing. I just hope it don't. I do freeze her. Bondage. Uh, for now, yeah, <laughs> we're just, 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 just gonna. Like, it's usually fine. Just gonna wash her head real quick, and then we're just gonna wrap her up. That should keep her nice and toasty. We may need to uh, kill something for. The fur. Oh, the, uh, um, uh. <laughs> the rabbit thing you gave me. <laughs> this will be perfect. Keep that for warmth. Uh, here, can you wrap it around? Make sure it holds. I, uh. <laughs> Here, I use a <laughs> belt to hold in place. Okay. My hands ain't exactly the best <laughs> at the minute. It's fucking cold. <laughs> at least the wagon's okay. There's a cliff around here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, we know, man. I think we, we know. found it. I think we found it, yeah. Hey, do you get dark to doctor? You, you both need more. Oh, yeah. Katarina, could you drive the wagon? Yes, I am. Hey, let's I let's get her. Let's get her in the back. I, I could maybe drive if you if you don't want to. I think uh, I can. Hey, here, come on. Okay. Let's get you up. <laughs> no, Wisteria. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you, you're okay. Oh, no. Oh, my. No, 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 you're really cold. So cold. Fuck. Okay, hang on. Hang it's on. starting to rain. <laughs> we gotta make it up. Pull her forward! Pull her forward! <laughs> oh, why is she in the water? Forward right here! Take my hand. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, the wagon's right here. It's us. I should have listened to intuition first time and <laughs> drive. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Katarina, please. I don't, don't think there's don't no more cliffs kill us. here. This is no, this is, no. This is, this is stop, stop and bolt her. <laughs> so we can draw, draw her close. Uh -huh. Yes, right up here, yes. Mm -hmm. sh 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 just be south, south of here. Almost. Right here, right here. Maybe, maybe there's still wood in one of the crates I left here. Maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Right here. Yeah, I used to live Where's here. Where's your crates at? In here. <laughs> Somewhere. In here. Fire over here, outside. Come. Well, there's food at least. Oh. oh uh, ranger station. Mm -hmm. We're in a ranger station. Oh. Iron. Oh. What the fuck? What? Somebody put stuff in my crate. It ain't mine. What the fuck? <laughs> I've... Mato said he left me some food. <laughs> I uh, guess he left me that. Oh god. Let me get uh... Let me get some stuff for a fire going. <laughs> oh there, you can't. Forrest, you can't. Forrest. There's fire out here. Forrest. Right there. Right there. There, just hang close, right there, with fire. <laughs> oh, there's a fire right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I tell you this many times. You did? Yes. You I did didn't not listen. No, I didn't. You I went didn't. close on clothesline and it uh, dried them. Well, that was bad. Over some peppers. Mm, I'm sorry. The peppers that we did not so, even eat. I, I, I'll go, I got some seeds. That's more mm. than enough. And whatever was left of what I ran over. You know how to grow. Um, well, not me particularly, but um, I'm sure someone. Yeah, maybe, uh, I don't know, I never grew peppers, none. Do you want to try a hand at it? Hey, uh, well, first you need to know where they can grow, yes. If I still lived up here, I would. You think peppers can grow up here? That's where they were, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, he's not something I'm familiar with. Mm-hmm. Weird top of spice of pepper. <sighs> okay, um... So, so, so mm -hmm. since that went... really badly... Mm-hmm. I'll pay you all double. You don't got to do that. 
Oh, that's just quite all right. I didn't know he was getting paid. I did not know this either. I did tell you, I was like, you'll want to do a quick job for me. I just want to go grab this pepper to make the hot sauce. They do mm. not need payment. Mm -hmm. They do very well off of a uh, tarot card reading. Well, well, these two don't, so I'm going to pay them. <laughs> oh, grab something. Um, uh, thank you all, all the way, for helping. Thank you. Thank you for asking me to come. Yeah. Gotta get out of Valentine's sometime. Mm-hmm. Fish, you say you have a book that give you information oh. about plants. Thank you. Yeah, uh... I just made a copy for Lara, actually. But yeah, I, I got a book about that. Could I get a copy of this? Yeah, it'll just cost you a little bit of money. How or much? Normally I charge a hundred, but I'll make one for you for ten. Since I you can do practically this. saved my life. Yes, this sounds like good deal. Okay. Well... <sighs> Uh, let's warm up a bit first and mm -hmm. get back to town and so I'll get that for you by tomorrow. Good, good, thank you. Um, would anybody like uh, any lunch? I just eat wolf. You ate a wolf? Yes, I, uh, get the talk earlier by pack of Oh, wolf. right, right. Hold on. <sighs> I got some fish tins, and they got little fish sticks in them. Mm. You say fish sticks. Mm-hmm. I do not know what this is. Do you eat alligator? Um, I've eaten alligator once, I think. Yes, I eat much alligator. There's too many in swamp. I can agree with it. Alrighty, if anybody would like a fish stick, here's one. Here's the other. Yes, I try these. Thank you, fish. It just... I'll take uh, it. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, Delicious. uh... I hope you don't mind. We had to, uh... Wrap up your head with that... Rabbit skin. And a and a band like like a bandage gauze. Is mm. is uh, yeah. my belt? I, I was wondering. Need this back. Uh, I'll be right back.
He's not just for fish. For the guppy guying as well. The golden lure is foretold by the prophecy that one person in the creation of the golden apple that deceived Adam and Eve birthed that also of the golden lure. It fell from the tree, fall harder than any apple could fall from, and one person, one rod, one golden lure, they say that the one and only true fisherman the master biter was the one who held the golden lure. I think I'm part of that prophecy, but we don't know just yet. I ain't seen the golden lure for some time. I could ask tarot card about these. Please. Hmm. You, what is question? Where is golden lore or who is supposed to have golden lore? Will I ever become Godfish? Yes, I ask the spirits. Spirits, ancestors, please help me. Tell me if Forest Fish is supposed to be Godfish. Is it his destiny? I got these six of sword. Hmm. Mm. This is, uh, maybe not what you want to hear. I want to hear it otherwise. These six of sword, it means a transformation. It is personal transformation. But it also is, um,. Well, this could mean that you become godfish. It's not necessary that you don't, but it is usually a regretful transfer transformation, not uh, something that you wish for. It is something necessary, but not something wanted. You will move, you will change, but it is scary. Maybe you, uh, change house, change job. Maybe you end relationship. Maybe you go off on, on your own. But it's a moment of leap of faith. You do not know what will come from this transformation. But, uh, there is regret here. Maybe you leave things incomplete. Or you have to do other things. Whatever it is, it is definitely transition. It is mysterious, though. And I hear wolf. You hear this wolf? Oh, uh, no. Uh, what lies behind is known. Howdy. How you doing? I'm alright. How's you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Huh. Does this makes sense. It does. And then with this change, you must trust yourself and your ability. There is emotional baggage. And you must not let this emotional baggage weigh you down. What'll happen if it does? And you do not go through this transition. But this transition is necessary. You want, you need to grow. We all need to grow. If you prevent growth, then you just, you delay inevitable. You must accept this fear you feel, but go anyway. You must move forward to the next thing. This 
is all. This is what this means. Alright. I think I'm ready to head back to town. Okay, let's go. Warm enough. Thank Looks you. Let's dry enough. I hear wolves, so we should get on the wagon before. You think this they is come her. Oh, they come up here quite often. This is her colter look. Hey, anyone else want to drive? Uh, I didn't know if Lyra wanted to. Yeah. All right. How well you know your way back towards town? Uh, uh, decently well. You gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, I know these parts real well. I'm heading back to town myself. That's I'm just asking. Make uh, sure you don't need any help or anything. There are you. Uh, Maybe. Uh, I don't know if you want to travel with us. We've been having a little bit of trouble <laughs> on the roads out here. I don't know why they don't just let the horses do it. Well, navigating, I would say. Or rather, navigating in a way that doesn't result in us all falling in the water. Uh. <laughs> we, we have people here that aren't a fan of roads. I see. So you all been riding through the forest and all then. Kind of in my name. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed mm -hmm. results. I'm Forest uh, Fish. <laughs> uh, Mr. Fish, I've I've heard of you. What's your name? Name's Arthur. Arthur. I believe uh, I believe I saw your uh, your sign at the uh, the little treehouse up at the end of Little Creek. Mm hmm. Used to sleep there. <laughs> I just heard them wolves. All right, we should get on a wagon then. If, uh... Who wants what to take the you, reins? Uh, I, I can't. Okay. Folks are planning on heading back towards town. The safest way on that wagon is going to be through the pass uh, to the left when you head out of town. All right. I keeps think I have a uh, direction. It keeps you away from the water Nikita. from the river. Don't really want to go all. swimming in this. Not in this cold. All right. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Yep. You all take care. You all too. Ah, they get closer. I think I see wolf. Where? Yes, there. He uh, died in front. Mm. If you go to the right, right here, just keep yeah, going I'm straight. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Wolves normally won't come near uh, carriages, so. Yes, Should be they look okay. like they run. Mm hmm. I think we should be good on our way here. Mm -hmm. What about the cats? Do uh, the cats scare? I think they also stay away, yep. This is good to know. Mm -hmm. I ran into many big cats on last journey to get a uh, flower and mushroom. Where were you trying to get them? I, I travel many places. Even tall I, trees? No, I do not go tall tree myself since I went with fish. 
Hey, uh, I got surrounded by grizzly bear, big pack of wolves. It is not a good journey for Katarina to go on by self. <laughs> but if you uh, all go to Tall Tree sometime, I come with you. Yeah, I go to Tall Trees every once in a while. I mostly stay around swamp where I live, but I come through uh, different towns to do tarot card reading. Mm -hmm. mm. Why not do one for Wisteria? Would or you even like Lara? Tarot card reading? I'll pay you. Sure, yeah. sure, I can do these. I wait till we get uh, back to town, though. I okay. do not feel finger. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, you finally come back, yes. See, roads are useful. Um, to you guys, not to me. But, what do you mean, not, not to you? To me, I found going the off-beaten road, the road less traveled, to be the most adventurous. More scars, more stories to tell. I figured, I literally speaking, well. of course. No, our chances of death. We didn't die, though. No, that's true. Thankfully. Thank for the lack of trying. Mm-hmm. I, uh, surprised huh? you're still alive. I, uh, thought you surely died after I last see you. Oh my god, what? <laughs> what makes you, you say that? do so many dangerous things. That's what a lot of people say about me, too. You must be, uh, tougher than look, yes. Yeah, I'm one big fish. Whee! Splash. A lot of rocks on this path. Mm -hmm. I just the thought came across me of um uh Vesteria, you have Katarina's belt still. Oh, oh Lord, yeah, sorry. sorry. Oh my god. Here, Here you go. Scary. I'm glad it could uh, come of yours. Um, it's a little bit bloody. Ah, I'm it sorry. already was. This is fine. Okay, but it's my blood now, so. It is is fine. Okay. Woo, Wisteria's blood. I'm sorry. He's probably gonna put like, make like a potion or something with it. Oh, I met somebody oh, no. earlier that was real afraid of witches. Uh, yes, I think I, I run into a man. Uh, he accused me of being witch. I am not witch. Was his name North? I do not remember, but he, I uh, say I look similar to another woman who say she witch. I am not witch. Did he say you look like a witch in his book? I do not think so. He say, hmm. uh, this woman, she live in Daltry. Oh, I don't know about that one. Yes, I do not need this woman. And many people say, Katarina, you are a witch lady. I am not a witch. This is not something I think is a real thing. Well... I get to say it, though. We fucking live! Yes, Whoa. but we did not find pepper. We found the seeds. That's like the beginning of a pepper. That's sucked like something. Uh-huh. I'll figure it out. It's the start. Mm -hmm. I do hope. Uh-huh. Where there's seed, there springs life. 
maybe you plant a seed in different climate. Yeah, maybe. Maybe try one round here, or one desert. in the desert, one in the mountain, one in swamp. Figure out where the best grows. One in the shmud. Oh, God. <laughs> At least it's got fertilizer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's almost home. Whoa. And every time I see those peppers, I walk up all close to them, and then I do my signature. How <coughs> do? Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Hey, <laughs> sorry. I thought I saw wolf. What in the world? <laughs> Is this where we do the customary? Put your gun belt put away. Put your fucking gun belt <laughs> away. Please. <laughs> No, I could have saved life. <laughs> oh, my lord. I think my you almost ended one. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for you. Oh, I did something. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. It's all right. You know, I never saw that happen until to like i heard about it 12 hours ago and now i've seen it four times and i've never seen it before now all right are, are we there yet mm -hmm. oh he is okay <sighs> oh i want to see if melvin's still in town okay do you okay? And I also want to change out of these clothes. Yes, I, uh, be in saloon for tarot card reading. Okay. I forgot to telegram you. people oh. don't leave our house if they see me talking to you they're gonna be pissed okay You gotta talk now. Oh, fuck. All right, 
right, make it quick, because I'm getting sick of this shit back and forth. Mm -hmm. Why is Mom pissed off at you? And what did you say? And what happened? The guy was being dumb, um, and was talking back to Mama. So I was trying to get it through his head that he needed to respect her, and that he didn't understand uh, the history of the bathhouse. I don't know what she heard me say, but I wasn't trying to be rude or nothing. And uh, she told me to get out of her sight. So it's just mama being stupid. Uh huh. I may oh, be. I, I may knew, be I knew used, it was gonna. I knew it was gonna be this fucking I may simple. be used. Uh, the bathhouse has a murderous history. I may be used that phrase, but it does. So I don't understand why that's a bad thing. God damn it! She's, All right, don't. You seem mad at that phrase. Also, Eustace was real upset and quit. Oh, Eustace, mm -hmm. she ran. Oh, she, he, she was really, really upset, like right before then. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh -huh. yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I don't know. So she got real mad at me and then, uh, told me, she yeah. said, oh, she said to not say anything behind her back that I wouldn't say to her. And I said, I didn't. I'd, I'd say everything I said, you know, to her. Okay. What about Jack? Jack's in Zissica. Yeah, I feel the same way. Mama said that you were mingling with him again. That you sure thought you was done with him. Uh, no, I was. Am I not allowed to? Yeah, I just thought you said you were done with him. <laughs> Mama said that you two uh riding together, or what have you? Is that was that just Mama spinning shit again? Uh, no, I did a job with him the other day. Wisteria, what the what? hell are you doing? He's just gonna treat you like shit again, you know that. He does it again and again. You keep telling me about this. How many times have you sat down and talked about that man? Every, every time someone talked down and sit down about that man. Yeah, but I don't live up here no more. Oh, did you move up to goddamn Colter? No, I moved down to San Denis. Okay, all right. So Mama got pretty much everything wrong. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That all lines up. Yeah. You're working. You're working. You're working with Clarence, then, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Same here. Yeah, I'll be working with him as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Things sound good. Do me a favor. Stay away from Mama and stuff, and mm -hmm. I'll I'll try to soften it and whatever, so that at least you can just be around without having to have any more commotion. All right. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be all friendly and shit and stuff, but just keep a wide berth, you know. Yep. All right. Good. Good. How's it been business? Um. It's been good. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's been fine. And, um, good, fine. All right. Busy, yeah. though? Yeah, actually. Be like, good. really busy. Mm -hmm. Is class around? Uh, I haven't seen him today. And he sent me a telegram. But I was just up in Coulter, but I was up there with Forrest. So. Oh, yeah, Forrest. You're good mm -hmm. people, I like Forrest. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm probably going to head over to San Denis and see what's going on. So, yeah. you doing something right now? You got mixed up in something right now? Uh, no. I just got back and, uh, well, now I'm leaving since, uh. Yeah, I'm let leaving. me go get some script. <laughs> who, who all, who all was saying it about you? Just Mama or anyone else? Or? I think it's just Mama. I don't know. Magnolia just said that the bathhouse ain't happy with me and that I should leave. Magnolia? Mm hmm. All right, I got some heads to rattle. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Hey, telegram me, damn it. Okay. We're working together now. In right. some, some vein. Oh, no, I think Scout is mad at me, too. But I don't know why. Oh, that... Fuck you two. God damn it. I'm, I don't know. I just... I stay... Just hurry up and fuck I, each other already at this point. No, I... <laughs> I just stay away from them. I know love when I see it. I needed to, uh, get telegram for us. Oh, KU972.
Wisteria? Mm-hmm. Is, is Klaus at work? I don't know. I'm about to head down there. All right. What the fuck? She, it's funny because she like really wasn't trying to say like anything awful about oh I ate the fucking carrots anything real bad about mama What was the so does everyone else in Eugene comment? Stopping roads.
Yeah, Jack actually hasn't been that bad to her recently. He did go and kill a man, though, so let's not forget. Shot, um, you know. However many times. Wisteria doesn't. I don't think she's ever attempted to murder anyone. For the record, Wisteria does not love Scout. In case that needs to be stated. more interested in the <laughs> much more interested in RPing out friendships than relationships.
I don't see anybody here. Door is open though. We're gonna play the game of how long? How are you doing? I don't know. Oh, look at this. We have two people feeling the same way. Doing the same little pose. <laughs> both staring at something. You don't know how you're doing? No, I do not. And you don't know how you're doing. No. How about this? You tell me, I tell you. Okay. Uh... I guess a lot happened yesterday. I wasn't around. So I spent today trying to figure out what happened yesterday. And so I was in Valentine. And I was just talking to somebody. And I didn't think I said anything wrong. But Mama Christine got really mad at me. And she said for me to not say anything behind her back that I wouldn't say to her face. And I told her that I didn't say anything behind her back that I wouldn't say to her face. And that everything I said, I would have said to her. And she told me to get out of her sight. 
And then when I went, I left and I came back, um, somebody ran up to me and told me that everybody in the bathhouse was very upset with me. And that I should just leave. You should just leave. Mm -hmm. Like the own Valentine. Uh huh. Like like on the side, what it is you can and cannot do um, to take away your freedom. Then you didn't talk to me. How you doing? Are oh, you talking about me talking to you? Mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, all right. I went and punched uh, what's his nuts when you were talking to, and then I punched Scout. Get this <laughs> shit together. What's going on here? We looking at a beaver? All right. <laughs> oh no, no, this beaver has been sold. It belongs to Olivia McDermott. Her beaver is off limit. Mm -hmm. So why are we all looking at a beaver? I was looking out the window. I was looking at I the was, ground. I was pondering and brooding quite a lot when uh, Wisteria come in and then you come in right after. How are you, Eugene? You want to stare at something and talk? <laughs> I feel left out, I, I guess. <laughs> okay. So, okay, there's a great okay. corner uh, to my left. Oh, you found it. You yeah, I got, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? Talking about our problems. Mm hmm Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's a lot. You want to go first, Eugene? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm really tired of everyone complaining and bickering about petty shit. To the point of where if I hear any more of it, I'm just going to punch them in the mouth and, and see how many teeth come out. And that's how many chances I'm going to give them before I shoot them. <laughs> I think we can all agree with this one. Mm -hmm. Very much. Yeah. Okay, Wisteria, you go. I also was down in Thieves Landing today. Because Peaches was drinking. And wanted to talk to Jack Edelman. And I didn't want her to die. But it went okay. And... Everything... I guess they was worried that somebody was dead from yesterday. Edwin. But he ain't dead. Oh, and that guy that sharpens knives. What's his name? Manuel? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, he got shot five times. Oh, by who? Jack Thompson. That's why he's in Sissica. Jack Thompson. <laughs> uh -huh. This is the same mustache Jack from the Buff House. Uh huh. A man of many failures. Uh-huh. I don't think I should have said that out loud. <laughs> yeah, so I got a telegram from him and Sissica today. <laughs> oh, just in time. Pick a corner and put your hands behind your back. No on, hurry up. I don't know what we're doing, thing. just go with it. Okay, Scout, welcome to our problems. We're all sharing our problems and feeling better. Hmm? Oh, I thought he was talking to you. What's what's it's happening? Your it's your turn, Damon. <laughs> to what? This is what our we problems. We're talking about problem. Okay. I. I feel like I've been losing a friend recently. And I've tried telegramming this friend multiple times. 
and every time I talk to this friend, it feels very short, like they don't want to be there. And it's making me feel bad. It's not a huge issue, but that's my issue. And scene, conversation, and rant. Ah, good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Is that everyone there? Nope, no, Klaus. Not another person. Okay. Oh. Find a corner. How day? Find a corner. Morris, mm -hmm. find a corner. Welcome to Complaint Corner. Two raccoons. Yeah. Wow, that's a good one. There you go. First, find a corner. No, you're doing not like that. You're doing it wrong. No, 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 no. What? Find a corner. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know this, what was happening. You know, perhaps we should, we, we should stop. Uh, the, the, the store is getting busy. We have work. <laughs> Thank no, you. No time for feeling bad. All right, what are we doing? Okay, you're junior first. How can we help you? Scout, you what? can stop if you want to. That's it. That's the only word I got. No, I meant uh, you come to the store. Are you okay? Or you need something? No, you said to come to the store if I need work. So I'm here for work. Oh, okay. Yeah. Find find Adelaide. Bring her to me kicking and screaming. One hundred dollars. Hundred? Oh shit, I do it for fifty. Fuck it. <laughs> All right, cool. And like, consider it done. Uh what else? Uh Don't hurt her if she's want to come, you know. Okay. Please don't hurt her. Oh, she's, don't hurt her? She's been oh, wanting sure. to come. She was asking me to come here. Oh, oh. For this, so. well, get, get fucked, Eugene. Here goes your job. No, I still pay you 50 if you find her. If she's coming, just tell her I'm here, okay? All right. Well, I got a job in one else. Find Peter Rockwell. Bring him to me. I don't care how he comes. Drive <coughs> by behind a horse, whatever. Just find him and bring sure. him to me. He wrote to me uh, wanting to open a business. I just oh, saw man, him like damn. 12 hours ago. Ah, from like. Oh, I gotta go grab something. Twelve hours ago? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not very helpful. It's the first time I heard from him. Oh, well, you could have said that. I just then did. You said he saw him an hour ago, then that kind of gave me a general direction. Twelve hours? Well, I never met him before. I never met him, period. Eugene, what you want with this person, huh? <laughs> I want him to be buried underneath one of them damn treasure boxes so I can dig it up every day and see his dead fucking face. <laughs> Okay. I mean, right. good. All right, I good. I want to just uh, go with Klaus treasure hunting today. And if we see All him, right. we'll, we'll just take a shovel. Perfect. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, perfect. Let's find Adelaide as well. I gotta go find Adelaide. She yeah, was in Valentine. Cool. And if she's not in Valentine, she'll be in Thieves' Land. Thieves' Land? Mm -hmm. Thieves' What the hell is she doing in Thieves' Land? She is a, um, she works in the saloon or the speakeasy there. Oh, holy shit. She wants to become back with Jack again. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh that, uh, she is not going to like to go with you, Eugene. So, Why is that? Uh, I, you and Tommy. I'm persuasive. Obviously, she's... I'm persuasive. Okay, okay. Also, Eugene, uh, Alex, Alistair Reed. He has a twiddled mustache, pale skin. Dark hair, usually wears all black, black hat, thick brim on it, gold stripe around it. This person uh, is very late, very late on a rifle purchase. A bolt action. Oh, he owes money, huh? Oh, he owes me a lot of money for quite some time. Be surprised if you see him, but if you do find him, he sells a premium tobacco cigarettes. He's a tobacco sales person. So, uh, that one I actually want screaming. Voice. Oh, describe foggy voice. Uh, kind of, um, not groggly, but just had fog in it. Thick, thick voice. I suppose this is fair. Do you always go around trying to sell this damn cigarettes, premium cigarettes, premium cigarettes? Look, you can't take the information I give it to you and say it back on some spot. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm trying to, no, well, no, yeah, no, that, that you is go around person. just nothing but preaching it. No, this person is that person. He is. Okay, that person I won't actually screaming. Okay, bring him here. All right, okay, I can do that. Good, perfect. All right, who's coming to get some work done? That one? Is me? 
Wait, what's the I'm, thing? I'm down to go. LA, then you all me. Peter Rockwell filler, and we're gonna go treasure and see if we can find him. Well, I'll come with you I, once I've got my money from Adelaide. I'm good to leave the store after this moment. Oh, if, right. this were, if this were Adelaide, I could do that. I don't want her thinking I'm bad. No, no, no. Mom. It's not to hurt her. It's just to bring her here. Just to bring let her know to come here. Oh, I, ca I came in the beginning of it where you, <laughs> you wanted her screaming or some shit. No, I meant Stay, like, I it, if it come to it, you know, if it come to it. Oh, okay. But it I won't come talk to, to it. Hysteria. Hysteria. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, you by the way, mm -hmm. you left without you. taking this. Hysteria, I gotta take you for a second. Uh, hold on. What? A second. Oh. Go on, open it. You didn't have to. I would have come either way. <laughs> but thank you. But you still came and I still wanted to give it. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If you ever need someone to come again, uh, I will. Yeah, I've I got always a whole bunch of crazy work like that, so uh, I'll come bugging. Okay. Let's go, Bunny. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, okay. I'm going to make like a banana and split. I just wanted to come and get you your money before I went to bed. Okay. Have a good night, Force. Mm -hmm. Actually, wait. Do you know who last touched the golden lure? All oh, right. Of course I do. Whom? Victor? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, it's still for sale? Yeah, it is. Okay. I have a proposition for you, Forrest. What's, what's that? Kla Klaus is going to purchase. Mm hmm. And then we will be in business together. How many of your gaps uh, you have and how much time they're around? They want their names, the thing. I want a full report on who you have, what times they're around, what they're good at, okay? If it is satisfactory, I will make a purchase and I will uh, perhaps give you back the lure after a few jobs. Mm. Or not, you can be under the control of some random stranger who can force you to murder people. Better than Gomer. Oh yeah, one of the Coltons want to uh, purchase currently. I need to go speak to Scout before it leaves. Yeah, that's that's fun. Um, all right, finally, okay, you two. Zit, I'm sick of this shit. At least once a week, one of you come up to me bickering and moaning about the uh, the two makeup. That's it. All right, I want both of you to go down to the clothing store, pick out something nice, and go on a goddamn date. No. He's, yes. He's dating mm -hmm. Lily. I don't give a shit. Don't even tell Lily this is happening. You two go out for a nice dinner. Something nice for a man to get to know each other. Talk, talking is fine. I think that'll work. No, all you've done is talking, and then one of you's gonna go mop on my doorstep again about <laughs> how the other one hurt their feelings and shit. And I don't want to think about it anymore! It. We'll get it done. Good. Now hug. <laughs> that comes after. No, you're gonna hug right now. That's how you're gonna stop this. You're gonna hug. Come on, get in there. Hug each other. I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see it. Ain't gonna bite each other. Come on, there you go. Yeah, see? That yeah, wasn't so hard now, was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. All right, had enough of these damn petty squabbles. Now I'm gonna go find Adelaide, bring her back here, make a little money, and then I'm gonna go find this Rockwell and put him six feet up the ground. If you wanna yep. tell me for that, I was looking please. for the boxes myself, and I kept finding nothing. That's right. So we're gonna get rid of the man who wrecks the boxes. I'm sick of it. It's ruining my goddamn album. Agreed. Okay. Good. Right. Right. Now, 
remember, dinner, dinner, wear something nice, something to perk up those little things, and then you, mm -hmm. uh, anything but a fucking whatever that hat is. Uh huh. All Got right, it. Good. Mm -hmm. good. All right. I don't want to go to dinner. No, me either. Okay. Can we just talk? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you got what I said in there. No? Mm -hmm. did, did you get what I was saying in there? Yes. You could have just said it was me. There's a lot of things going on right now. It's not just that. This is just on top of it. You didn't want to talk to me. I did. No. But when I you asked. rushed into the bank and asked, it felt like you were busy trying to do something else and I was just the side thing that you needed to get done real quick. I wanted to stand and talk to you for a minute. That's what I was asking. Then all day I've been talking to you and it's been very shallow and then we just walk away from each other and it's just weird. You walked away from me! When? You walked away from me on the carriage? I know on the carriage. That's after I was upset. I'm talking about before. Why were you upset? When I said I wanted to tell you something and then it felt like you just wanted nothing to do with me. You, you were going the on a triple date! You walked in the bathhouse said hi, and then you said you're going to go do stuff, and just you walked said, out. You said, I walked into the bathhouse, and I got greeted with a, oh, it's just wisteria. From, not from me. Yeah, actually. No, no, that was for me. That was because the person was getting beat up. And we thought it might be somebody else that would tell the law. So that was a more of a relief thing than anything. Every time I've walked into the bathhouse recently... It's... Nobody is happy to see me. At all. I am. Christine is not happy with anyone right now. Including you. No, she's not happy Which... With me. Has to do with the conversation that she overheard... Overheard... And... Is taking... More than likely completely out of context. I said... Do you want to know what I said? I told... What did you say? I told this guy, this Thomas guy, that he needed to learn to not talk back to Mama because she was somebody to be respected. Or else he was going to get fired. And he needed to learn how the back bathhouse worked. Since he just got hired. And he kept back talking me. I'm... Um, she said that you said that she would kill people, basically. What? And she just no. didn't like that. Well, that's I what said, she said. I'm I telling said, you what she said. I never said that she would... I said the bathhouse has a long and murderous history, which is true. Yes, but she took that the wrong way. That's what I... I she, she wants to hurt you. Oh, for fuck's sake. And I told her, no, we need to sit down and we need to have a conversation. Because everything goes haywire... When no, everyone's just, hearing... just never fucking hurt me. No. Sit down and have a conversation. Like normal people do. She told me to get out of her face. Because she's upset. I didn't understand why she was upset. She's never been upset at me. That's... She's also upset that you keep hanging out with Jack after how he treats you. Why does everybody else get involved in that? Because your decisions change based on when you're hanging around him, would be my guess. What did my decision? What? My decisions change? It's just how he treats you. You don't know how he treats me when it's just us. Okay, but people see how he treats you when it's not just you guys. 
That's none of my business. I'm just letting you know why Christine. Your Jane is just upset. came and yelled at me too for hanging out with Jack. Well, we had a conversation, me and him, yesterday. Mm hmm. Don't, not sure if he told you that. Who? You and Eugene? Jack. You and Jack. Mm hmm. He came up and he started yelling at me like he always does. He said his piece, and he said, this is how it's going to be. I don't have any friends anymore here because of you. Not everything's about you, Scout. I didn't just aim at your head because it was you, Scout. You were the only one I saw that I could get a line of sight on, which is real strange because it was an empty field with a rock that he was hiding behind, and that's all it was. And he turned it back on me being selfish because I said that he tried to kill me. That's me being selfish. And then he stormed off. A short 15 second conversation because he can't stay and have a conversation if we could have a conversation it would be solved in a matter of minutes He said, I'm only going to say this once. I am here to protect Caroline, or I was there to protect Caroline. And then a bunch of people showed up and pointed guns at them, or at her. So that's when we decided to shoot. And I said, Caroline pulled the gun on us and was aiming it at us. And then he said, well, it's supposed to be Danny who showed up. And I said, last time Danny showed up alone with Caroline, he got shot. So obviously that wasn't going to happen. Then it slowly progressed to him getting argumentative. I, I acknowledged his side. I talked to Caroline. I told him that I talked to Caroline. I said, I talked to Caroline. I smoothed everything over. I apologize for how things happen because that's not how I wanted them to happen. She was never meant to get shot or hurt or any of them for that matter. And he said something along the lines of good for you when it came to talking about Caroline. He wasn't interested in that. I acknowledge that things could have been better and that I did wrong in that situation. But after that, he walked out. All I'm asking is that he also acknowledge from his side that it went haywire just like it did on my side. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm just telling you. You don't... That <laughs> I don't want... You know how much of our problems could be solved if he would stop walking away and we could sit and actually talk about things? Every single conversation has ended with him walking away, and it doesn't solve anything. I can explain my side. He can explain his side. Whether we agree, disagree, it doesn't matter. I just want both of us to be able to explain our sides because it's a different perspective from both sides. I don't know why you're not able to do that, Scout. I don't. Because he walks away. I don't know how to help you with that. You can't. It's over, basically. I have sent you multiple telegrams. I've come up to Valentine. And you haven't responded. But the conversations have been extremely short and not interesting, as in you not feeling interested in it, from my perspective. What? Like, you just, it's short, and it ends there. And you walk away, or I walk away. It just is not what it used to be at all.
I just feel like I'm losing you as a friend. And I don't understand. I don't. Which part do you not understand? I, I come up to Valentine. And the conversation, there's not even conversations. It's just, hi, how are you? Good. Okay, I'm going to go do this. It's just not what it used to be. What do you want to say? You don't tell me anything. Well, I wanted to. But you didn't. You didn't ask me to do anything. I can't stand at the bathhouse. I am trying to get it so we can all just sit down and talk. You don't have to do this. Hmm? I just want us to sit down and talk. Everyone. Well, not everyone, because that's not going to happen, but you, Christine, Eugene... I don't Myself? understand why you think you're losing me. Because it's just... Yeah, you didn't... You haven't responded to any of my telegrams. At all. I'm sorry. And... I... I get that you're in a new place. You have new friends. You're doing new things. It just... No, I think I misunderstood. Um, I never really sent telegrams back and forth before. You what? I never really sent telegrams back hmm. and forth. So if you said you sent me a telegram, I would come up to Valentine. If you didn't send me telegrams, I probably wouldn't be up in Valentine. Well... How am I supposed... How am I supposed to know that? I, I didn't know that. So you just said that. I, you said you missed hanging out, so I came back. I just thought I would get a response from your telegram acknowledging. Because when you show up, it, it could be business, it could be anything nowadays. It's not to go to the bathhouse, to yeah. hang out like it used to be. You know, you're I doing business stuff. I can't go to the bathhouse. Well, that's what I'm trying to f get fixed. It's... I... That's what it is. What? That's what it is. That's what I had to say. What do you... I don't understand. Just all of that. That's what I wanted to say to you. that I just felt our friendship was diminishing and like I said I know you're in a new place new friends new job new everything it's just you being far away me sending telegrams and getting nothing in return just I didn't I don't know I didn't realize
Yeah, well, I guess that's where our awful communication that we all have comes into play. Why didn't you come down here? I did multiple times and you weren't here. The one time you came down here, I was up in Valentine. I've been here multiple times looking for you. I don't know. And? But I'm just glad to have said that. Because okay. I didn't want to not say anything on the carriage or anything like that. I'm just... I've had a really bad last few days. Why? I... Just a lot of reasons. Lost. I bought a Turkoman, and then I oh, had right. to get rid of it immediately. And... What is this? What is this for? Because you lost all your money. Hey! No. Yes. No, it's your money. Yes. No. Yes. I'm not. I'm Take not it. giving you my hand. Take nope. It. Take it. Mm -mm. I'm not taking your money. Take it's it. your money. No. It is your take money. It. I'm pulling my hand away. It Stop. is your money. I'm take not it. gonna take it. Take it. No. Take no. it. I was looking for I'm you not. earlier. Why? To give you money. Why? I. It's I your money. I thought that's why you were upset. No. Why would I be upset over money? I don't from know you. you get a, not a, from me. Well, I was upset. I lost my entire bank account yesterday. I know. But and then you, money and is a thing I can earn back. And you it's got, fine. You got like $900 in Speedy. Yeah. Yeah. And I owe him that $900 back. You've given me money. Thank you. Mm. Mm. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I should get back to Valentine. I need to deal with Christine going haywire and wanting to kill everyone in her path. Okay. Eugene attacked me. Yeah. I thought you were mad at me. I mean, I kind of was. Why? But not, not just because of that, everything. I thought you were ignoring me, basically. I wasn't ignoring I you. It, I know. I'm just saying, that's what it felt like with you not responding. That's what I thought it was, and that's why I was upset. No, I just get mad when you don't talk to me, when I ask if you want to talk to me, and you want to talk to me, and you say no. I say <laughs> things wrong sometimes. I saw you talking at the back of the saloon with those people. What people? Fish and... Peaches, I think it was, and mm -hmm. another lady. And then you ran into the bank, and it sounded like it was a bother to you that I might have a conversation with you. I was going to talk to you and not go with Peaches. I'm sorry. I was sticking around in Valentine where I don't feel welcome. And it makes me feel sad. I'm trying to work on it. She 
wants you hurt. And I think she told Eugene that, and Eugene is upset with her about it. And I am as well. I don't want you hurt. Magnolia too. Magnolia wants you hurt? No, Magnolia knows too. She told me to leave. Yeah. Once I got back to town. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to try to work on that with her. Okay, I'm going to stick with Klaus. That's a good idea. Klaus is good. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to get mm -hmm. back. It was good talking to you. Mm-hmm. Take I'm care. I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm around. I know. And then jump, I will jump other things for you. I don't understand why that's, that's, that's hard to understand. It's hard with you and Jack being good friends and he won't talk to me and I feel like every corner I go around when he's around he could be waiting to kill me. I'm not gonna kill you. At least I wish I wish that didn't have to exist. I do too. Yeah, go make it sure Christine does Yeah, what? Yeah. We just yeah. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'll see you around. I'll let you know if anything happens of mm -hmm. importance. Telegram me and I won't telegram you back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Sorry that took so long. That's okay, I'm dirty. You and didn't I'm tell me she was waiting here. Hi, was Jerry. Dakota's waiting here. Surprise. What? You didn't tell me she was waiting here. I didn't know I was supposed to tell you she was waiting here. You've just been standing in the corner. I ain't got nothing better to do in my time. You could have gone inside. Oh. I didn't know she was allowed to do that. What do you mean? It's a store. When we were having conversations. It's a store. I offered to stay out here. I insisted. She could have just stared at a corner and sun. I didn't know that. I was I reading and that... writing in my book, and I was, was having gonna... a great time. I thought it was going to be Hold a whole on. thing after Eugene hit me. Uh, yeah. Alright, is y'all even? Scout, that's what you get for making me wait outside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you want to hit me back? No. Are you sure? You ain't allowed. Are you not allowed? Not allowed. What do you mean you're not allowed? Dakota just it said I'm not allowed. Oh, okay. So I got left outside and then he gets pushed and then we's even. Oh, okay. I like Dakota's uh -huh. rules. Yeah, that's it's why all I stick be fair. around <laughs> She's good people. I'm only one person, but thank you, Scout. That's what Wisteria says. Oh, Wisteria, mm -hmm. why is you calling me a people? I no, don't know. I just think like it's a, it's a group. Oh, yeah. uh, good you're, people? you're part of good. Dakota's good, good people. Oh, I'm the good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm good people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Does anybody yep. have like an apple or something? Uh, I don't, but we can go to the saloon real yeah. quick. So Dakota's hungry. Okay, okay, Dakota, let's go get food. Okay, I'm going to start Dakota talking food. to myself okay. in third Goodbye. person. Okay, bye. Yes. Dakota needs a bath. Well, at least another day, Mr. Pipsqueak. <laughs> I thought he was going Alrighty. to bed. Well, I got caught up in quite an eventful conversation with Klaus. Oh. Well, I'm going to bed now. I'm tucking <laughs> out. Later, y'all. Yeah, take care. 
Not more to that one than with the eye. I like forest. Oh, of course, the surface, I would think that the little guppy is nothing more than a shit kicker. But I think there is some depth here to find, perhaps. Yeah, so apparently Mama Christine wanted to hurt me. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. What for? Oh, because of what I said before. <laughs> well, what have you said before that is so damning? Um, apparently she took it as that I said that she kills people. But she doesn't. I don't think she's killed anybody. Not that I know of. You want to walk to a telegram office? Not been there in a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so apparently she's mad at everybody and she wants me to get hurt and learn my lesson. A what lesson? Uh, just learn my lesson. Right. Mm hmm. But you haven't said what she is, she is thinking, so. Uh, I don't know what she's thinking because she thinks crazy things sometimes. She stabbed Adelaide for doing something. She has. I mean, um, so, have, so has Klaus, to be yeah. fair. Yeah. Um, I don't know. She's done a lot of stuff, but that's why Eugene and Scout are trying to talk her down some. Right. What, what's the real. What is she thinking you have said and how do you say that? This is the main question. I don't know. She's said that. I'm telling people that she kills people. Okay, then just send her a telegram saying I haven't said that. And for somebody saying I should say this shit to your face, can you please say this to my face about hurting me? Well, she... She, uh... Oh, I guess that works. <laughs> I mean, you've got her right there in a trap. Oh, she is hypocrite right now. So just trap her in hypocrite trap. If you want my help, I'm sure you're a grown woman enough to ask for it, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Seems like you and Scout are having trouble. Every other day. I don't understand him. Alright. I think of it differently. They don't understand you. Maybe. And like I'm friends with Peaches. She goes by Irene now. Alright. Doctor. And she um I met her my second day in the crossing and she helped me out a lot. And we've been friends since then, but we don't talk often. But if she needs my help, I go and I help her. That sounds like a good friend to have. And she never gets upset, like, questions if I'm her friend or not. Well... What are the point of telegrams that said we need to talk now without a kind stamp on them? Stupid people. <laughs> uh, okay, this is in our roads. I'm gonna assume that was um before he got here. Seven, one. 
Oh, we're still there. Can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. Okay, it is a little bit personal. But I trust your judgment, okay? Mm -hmm. I have three telegrams from somebody and I can't tell if they want to kill me or they want to fuck me. <laughs> Do you mind if I just run them by you? Sure. Okay, I'm not really uh, good when it comes to this thing, so... I'm not sure if I will be either, but I'll try. Right, but you have a similar mind to Klaus. I want to see how you interpret. Okay. So, first one, I spy with my little eye at Klaus in St. Denis. Dot, dot. A man shrouded in mystery. Dot, dot. Quite alluring. Dot, 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 dot. As I wait patiently. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and then there was a little uh, smiley face on a picture attached to it. Huh. And then her name. So I respond, the fuck you want, <laughs> and they respond, I spy, you spy. I wonder if I can spy a Klaus later in the city at a certain cozy saloon, dot, dot, dot. Love hearing the crazy tales of yours. So I can't tell if they're trying to get me to go to saloon to kill me or not. Why don't people just say what they mean? Alright. So, <laughs> I not respond. Uh, then I feel bad and I respond two days later and I say, look, uh, you're our creep. <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> and I said, uh, my previous telegrams, there were a few lines I wrote, a few hoping to see if you like. Hope to see you soon. Sounds more normal? Right. But after I call them out saying you are fucking weirdo. <laughs> you know what is wrong with you? Right. Right. Hmm. Huh. If I got the first two, I would think that somebody wanted to kill me. Right. That's what I'm feeling as well. Okay. Or is watching me. Right. Even uh, you're done here. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. done. Yep, I'm done. Uh, I'm, just, I'm going to burn those later in a bucket. Okay. But the worst part of Mysterio is they w used to have to inform on me and oh. told me. And this would make this even worse. So, uh, to bring you to speed on the, the conversation, mm -hmm. she was working for Dr. Tyne. Okay. Because uh, he forced her to, saying, I'm going to kill you if you don't do it. They capture her. Mm -hmm. So she do it. And then uh, I think she got close to Klaus, you know, I tell her about job offer for bartender. I get her a job all lined up. All is good. She's around the neighborhood, getting to know people. And perhaps she have a change of heart because the next day her leg is smashed to pieces with a hammer. Oh, shit. In a cast. And she can't walk. I'm telling me that she was dumped outside of the city somewhere. So she does not remember too much. Mm. So I go to her telegram office and flick through her letters. Mm -hmm. And I ascertain that she was working for Dr. Fine and where they are living. Mm. So she used to inform on me, Tommy and Emmett.
So, do you want the skull to go on to be okay? For at least two days, I think. Interesting. I don't see what could be such a problem between you all. I don't either. Oh, yeah, and everybody's mad at me because they see that Jack treats me bad. Jack treats you bad, so they're mad at you? Uh-huh, because I hang out with him. Which just doesn't make any sense to me at all. <laughs> but because he doesn't treat me bad. Right, but even if he does, it's not for you to make your own choice. A poor mm -hmm. little weak woman. Mm -hmm. oh, people in the crossing make clouds sick. This country always treating people so strange. It makes me laugh when people have opinions on people not being able to make up their own minds. You should be allowed to think and do what you want. If you want to spend time with someone who treats you poorly, this is the choice of hysteria. Respect this moment. Mm -hmm. Well, you're better than me. I would have uh, started hitting these people. I was just surprised. If they think he treats me badly, then just be mad at him. All right. All right, treat you poorly instead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense, Wisteria. I don't know. It uh, make me feel very poor. I can see why you wanted a fresh start, you know. I was mm -hmm. uh, very curious when I met you. Uh, like I tell you before, you were a great asset to anybody. A buff house, a pawnbroker, anybody really. Oh, I finished the flyers. They're in a notebook in the basement. I just mm -hmm. read that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I meant to respond to you. Did you also put down the uh, little pouches for gems? Was that you? No, I saw those down there. I don't know who did that. Well, someone has done that for us. Mm -hmm. I don't know who. Well, yeah. once we have received payment for Adelaide, if you're not too tired, I know it is getting late for you. Uh, we could perhaps go put up some of these posters. Mm -hmm. I got at least one of my thumbtacks back because I had one up in Coulter. Oh, so. sure. Mm -hmm. I think I have four left, so. Mm -hmm. We'll take one to post office, one to uh, somewhere else in the city, perhaps Blue Pearl. Mm -hmm. And after that, we will decide the other ones. I will suggest places where people go to work to make money, the mines, perhaps. These are mm. good places to do it. Because someone's going to um, pull up that pickaxe, their back is going to ache, and they're going to say, shit, I can just go get a loan. Orange delivery. Oh, smart. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. Yeah, I ran into um, Antonio earlier today. And I oh. told him that we didn't have the watch anymore. And before I could tell him where to get one, um... I think he was rude to me. I didn't what understand at first. What did he say? Um, he asked me if I liked Italian food, and I said I didn't know. Because I don't think I've had Italian food. And he asked me if I wanted to get some. And I said, I don't know, because I don't. I said, okay. And then he said, oh, I don't have. I ran out. <laughs> he ran, oh, he ran out of Italian food? Uh-huh. But I think he was going to give you a taste of Italian food. Uh -huh. Perhaps trying to open a restaurant. Customs of Italian people from my visit to their country. Their proudness about food is second to none. It is extremely rude to not accept their food. Extremely rude. Huh. It would be like kicking their mother right in their cunt. Right in front of them. It is this bad. So, uh, consider this to be a trap moment to avoid in the future. I once went to a meeting with Italian uh, mobster, Di Cenzo. 
Mm-hmm. Um, they said, uh, come around, come around, come here, uh, some food, some food. I had just eaten, and my belly was very full. I was uh, not prepared for eating more food, and I kept bringing it out in droves, dredging more from the kitchen. So, uh, a little moment for Klaus, uh, not, not so good, but I had to eat it all. Mm-hmm. It would be very rude not to. So, no, I don't think they were being rude. I think they were trying to uh, perhaps see if you were going to be rude. No. But you not say no, so you have passed. Okay. No, I Europeans, don't know the Dijentos uh, that well. Right. He is not so much part of them, more of a hired gun for them currently. Oh, I see. Right. The family uh, take a lot to get in. You will uh, come to meet them in future. Klaus and the Chinsos are very, very close. We have been since I moved to the city years ago. The first thing I did before I got here was I got an investor to buy a Doros Tavern for Klaus. Organized uh, two security people to come in as uh, joint owners. That was Frank and Chuck. This was last July. Mm-hmm. So we come into the city, and the first thing I did was to ask for audience of these people. I get here and say, look, I'm making an investment in uh, the northeastern side of the city. I want to make sure that it is okay by uh, your, you and the family. And they looked at me, and they uh, turned their necks and say, you are the only person to show us respect this way, Mr. Podovkin. Hmm. And I say, I understand how things work. I've been to your country. And since that moment, we have been like two fingers wrapped around one another. No problem. Hmm. They have never extorted me. No problems. In fact, they have come uh, and stood behind me when it mattered. What did Antonio tell you about the watch? I am quite curious. Uh, he didn't say much else. I just said that I had telegrammed him that we didn't have it anymore. Um, and that was it. I didn't know whether to say, uh, he cut me off before I could say they are not as um rare as you know they might think they're still rare <laughs> i will suggest we don't uh, no. do pocket watch anymore i agree you should be aware that gomer colton is a part of a particularly nasty family the uh, coltons mm-hmm. i heard about them today what have you heard that they are particularly nasty and they took um sheriff lewis into the woods and she was left there for two hours and the law um well they stopped looking for her and jack found her and brought her back to Strawberry with Forrest and then right after he brought her in he got arrested for attempted second degree murder <laughs> thank you for saving our sheriff also go yeah. to jail yep I, I got mad at Maple today Maple was the one with the stupid fucking heart right mm-hmm. right yeah, I, I said, like, apparently he had walked right out of the medic office, and another deputy, Deputy Winters, said, Eric Thompson, you're under arrest for attempted second degree murder. And Jack and Sheriff Lewis are friends. So he was very upset that she was hurt. They are such good friends, perhaps you should stay out of the bunks. One day you'll have to shoot her. Mm-hmm. 
but to be careful about these friendships you form. I have a couple of friends who are deputies. Mm -hmm. I know we will share a drink, but also I know one day if it comes down to it, I have to assure them. I will not hesitate, but to put myself in this position willingly every week after week, that is uh, a fool's journey. Mm -hmm. So who Jack shoot? Manuel. Oh, you told me. Mm -hmm. So Manuel is right. Manuel, I guess, was um shooting at. The, I don't. I didn't quite get the story from. Forrest was there. Was shooting at the carriage that Jack and um Forrest and I think Sheriff Lewis were on. But Jack also shot him when he was down. So. Oh. He admitted to it. I mean, fair enough. I respect admitting to it at least, you know? Mm hmm. Shit. Poor the jock. Poor the poor the jock. But yeah, this uh, Gomer issue, I've been thinking about it a little bit. Mm hmm. I'm going to spin it in a certain way to go more. There was once a time where I tried to do business with these people. Perhaps they thought they could be controlled. I was mistaken. They are truly wild people. They don't conform to the law. That is normal. Outlaw here? Very much. But these people don't conform to any of it. Society, nothing, power. They don't care. I could have been the president of this country and walk right up to them. Look them right in their face and say, uh, no, and they would laugh and shoot. Hmm. I was helping them, giving them a sack full of weaponry to do some bidding. Perhaps I asked them to do for me as a favor to somebody else who was paying for it. They took the weapons, threw them on the ground and said, these are shit. Get us <gasps> proper ones, little boy. What? They surrounded me. Someone from the corner of Valentine uh, thought it necessary to come and save poor little Klaus from being surrounded by six burly gentlemen. So, uh, he stood on the corner of the wood and said to them, Why don't you pick on somebody a bit tougher? I don't know why he has assumed I am not tough, but okay, thank you, sir. Anyway, I smiled and watched as they beat the shit out of him right in the middle of the street. So they came back to surrounding me and said, uh, you know, little boy, we're going to be taking you for talking. So I brought the new guns to this weapon deal and I was trying to reason with Gomer. I said to him, look, uh, I will go fetch new weapons for you all because this meeting was going so poorly. They were talking about, oh, why don't we just take the nice one he has on his hip here. I said, well, okay, boys, I will go get you better guns. Be right back. So I walk out of this meeting and I'm about to leave. I'm telling my uh, boys to get out of here. This is not good. So I leave the shitty guns with them. $600 worth of carbines and the school fields. Gomer comes out and says, well, how long are you going to be? I said, motherfucker, I'm never coming back. You're coming <laughs> crazy. You are reasonable, however. So, Wisteria, I was going to say perhaps we should pay him back because of uh, what he's going to do. But I think if he comes back, I'm going to tell him, fuck you and your family, and that you had that coming. Yeah. Not so much you want to say it this way, but I'm going <laughs> to say, uh, remember that time where you tried to corner me? Your family don't understand how uh, things work, but you do. So let them know. Hello, who are you? Anyway. No need for you to worry about that money. You keep it. You enjoy it, okay? Every dollar of that you spend, I want you to smile. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> what else were we talking about? Jack, Scout... How everyone is complaining about you having freedom of choice. Anything else? Mm, I don't think so. I just, when I got into town today, I think everybody said that yesterday was terrible. Right. I am not really uh, 
Well, I disagree with them. I went to a meeting of my own. And to see someone reveal themselves as a true fucking snake. <laughs> um. Pass! I heard that Summers held up the sheriff's office. That's all? Mm -hmm. What else you hear? The Cattlemen's drove a tanker into a bank. <laughs> they did what in the bank? <laughs> they drove an oil tanker into a bank. <laughs> okay. I thought it was Bummer's boy's uh, calling card. Nope. Nope, that was the Cattlemen's. Understood. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which bank was it? I, I'm gonna guess it was... Actually, I don't know. I was gonna guess Blackwater, but I ain't sure. I'm friends with Aurora. Oh, okay. And she is part of Jack's gang? Yeah, I think so. She at least works out of thieves. Alright. I don't know how to politely put this, but Jack has a lot of enemies. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you care about Aurora, she would be better not being a part of that soon, okay? That yep. is all I can tell you. Yep. I've tried to tell her to get out. I'll try to tell her one more time. There's a lot I want to tell you, but a lot I know I shouldn't. I will put it to you as bluntly as I can. Mm -hmm. Jack is a very desperate man right now, realizing he has bitten more than he can chew. So he will be making as many friends as possible. He will be in public, he will be friendly, he will be making a lot of handshakes, asking for meetings. So, um, if you have anyone you really care about, I would err caution. Mm -hmm. But did not come from Klaus, okay? Yep. I cannot have this one coming back and trusting you. Yep. I just want you to get those you care about not so close. Although I would imagine not much love for you for this person because he shot Scout, right? Yeah, no, I don't care about the Kettleman's much. No. I like Mills and a couple of them. But they have made their choice. Mm-hmm. Aurora weren't part of it back then. I think she's rather new to it. Right. So... She's going to pay for the sins of a thousand winters, sadly. Yeah. Right. Oh. If I had a penny for every gang that has come to me in the last month saying they want to kill Kettleman, I would have a lot of pennies. Mm -hmm. Not so usual. Usually gangs are away from each other, not wanting to cause this war. But a lot of them are... Right. I mean, you understand. Mm -hmm. I've had many people today as well. Or not today, but like come to me as well. Understood. Well, I'm always happy to hear about that. A lot of my customers would love to hear it, if you understand. I don't think Edelman's short on enemies. No. We could take all of the pawnbroker shit off the shelves here and put an enemy on every one of these shelves. Still, we would need more space. Mm-hmm. Anyway, well, my least favorite topic is uh, gang war. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's change it. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. You have a boyfriend, girlfriend? No. Why not? Uh, I'm not real interested in dating. 
I thought you were on scout for some more dating. No. Oh. That's what Eugene thinks too. But. Oh, right, I heard from Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't think you. I was wondering if that was the uh, the problems between you. Mm -mm. He's dating um somebody else. Oh. He's dating uh, a girl named Lily. That ain't the fancy Lily. And. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, fair enough. No, he's more like um my brother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even Forrest was calling us that today. Calling you brother and sister? M Melvin. Hello. Oh. Oh, Melvin, Howdy. you know the rules in here. No shirt, no silver. So okay. Okay. I'm just kidding. Uh, boom, bitch. <laughs> uh, Melvin, I'm joking, brother. I will serve you if you're about naked. How are you, Lola? Good. I'm doing well, and if you don't mind, I'm just going to drop this off really quick because i got to get going to a meeting. Sure. Uh, I will yeah. keep the box for now, if that's okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, let and me, it's uh... great to see you, Wisteria. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Wisteria. Excuse yeah. me. Oh. Cool. All right. I'll, I'll see you, know, you guys later. Lola, I have your money. Before you go, I keep it back here. What? Have your money. Huh? Oh, no, because of the, the gun. Remember? Oh, I remember. Shit. Mm -hmm. You are a good person. <laughs> yeah. You could have fucked me pretty good. Uh, <laughs> oh, never. Absolutely never. I would be too terrified to screw you over, class. <laughs> I am not yeah. not this person, but okay. Well, thank you All very right, y'all. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Wisteria? I'm okay, I think. For now. It's good. It's good to see you. Mm -hmm. Are you here to kill me? Uh, no. Okay. Mm, why would that oh, be a situation? <laughs> I heard mom wants to hurt me. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Mm -hmm. You can just do it. No. Okay. <laughs> hey, Melvin. Yes? If you do anything to her, you'll go make a deal with her. Okay. How have you been? Been good. Been practicing my vicious body hooks on trees, so I'm pretty confident that if I wanted to lay you and Klaus out, I probably could, but I won't. <laughs> I can hear you down here, Melvin. Little <laughs> bit, brother. I heard that. You still want to try? No, I said I could. You know, I probably could. I feel like I could. I've been punching trees down, so, you know. Mm -hmm. You still doing that play? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. When when was it supposed to? Who was putting it on? I think Klaus was setting it up. Oh. Hmm. I was gonna I was gonna be Gavin Summers. <laughs> you had paid to see it. Are you gonna be in the play? No. Why not? I don't think I do. I don't. No, you could I... be in the back, like holding shit or like moving sandbags around and stuff, pulling the oh, curtains. I guess so. Cleaning, you could be sweeping up the popcorn afterwards, or something like that. You know, a lot of people are gonna be needing work there. You know. I guess so. That's right. You putting on the play? Yeah. What's going on with that play? <laughs> what the fuck is telling you about this, huh? Yeah. Who told you about that, Wister? <laughs> a bird. <laughs> bird. A bird. <laughs> bird named who? Well, tell that bird I'm going to take its eggs if it keeps talking. Mm hmm. Exactly, it was an owl. Well, hmm. uh, we want to have a hoot if I find out this bird. Was there who was it, huh? No problem. But who was it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna make us guess? Was it Jack? 
Which one? Which one? The, the crazy I know, one. I know Thompson. at least I know at least three now. You know three jacks? Mm-hmm. They can no, you don't. they can yes I do. They can form no, a gang. The Jack gang? Mm-hmm. Some serious jack time right there. Mm-hmm. They can call it jack time. <laughs> What are you looking at me for? I was talking to you. Okay. I can look back at the floor. You look wherever you want. <laughs> I can love Melvin. Oh. Did I? T I didn't tell you about this plate, did I? <laughs> you absolutely did. Oh shit! <laughs> I was just excited. <laughs> I'm not told a hundred. Am I not supposed to be talking about this? Is this a top secret plate? Is it like a surprise? Well, I, I don't know. I was leaning into the fact that she looked a little bit uncomfortable, and I wanted to increase this feeling a little bit. I yeah. would care less to talk about it. <laughs> Oh, no, there's a rumor of class products we're gonna never play. I've been considering it, but we shall see. Well, I'm interested. How long does it take to get a play going? Let's get this set up. Uh, I mean, before I walk around Valentine and I tell the people who wants to make $200, five people run up to me. I say, You're now actors. I said, We're not. I said, Give me one week and you'll be actor. I wrote the full play and told everybody on uh, three two hour sessions of practice. I wrote a song. Uh, wrote all of it and gave it to a woman named Sophia. Mm. She performed it almost in 25 minutes. I wrote this song yeah. in three and a half minutes. No problem. That was it. We did it. Practiced it for a week and did performance. I made uh, four and a half thousand dollars in one night. Damn, that's where the money is, Klaus. You gotta do that. And people are probably happy too. That's why I wanted to do it. I'm gonna get the money and get back out of here and take it back to my woman, but... Uh, you know, not going anymore. Mm. What's this play going to be about? Well, I don't know. I was going to do about something, but before it was the uh, play about Gavin Summers, a true, not so true story, but partially factual story of the rise and fall of Gavin Summers, a story about revenge, Daffodil. Oh, no, not Daffodil. Oh, shit. See, I already forget. I spent a few months away. Oh, shit. Uh, dandelion, what is it? Dandelion, okay. Right, that was what this song was about. It was about the revenge. It's a revenge story. Oh, okay. But well, you can maybe make, a, make another play about how he's not such a bad guy. That is what the play was about. It was, oh, okay. It was a layered play. So the first half, half was uh, factual. About Jack Edelman setting fire to women in a uh, saloon. You know, oh. and dancing around them as they burn and scream. You know, this kind Jesus of thing. Jesus Christ. So it was uh, really what has been happening in the crossing. And then it was Klaus's uh, imaginary ending. So the final scene was Gavin Summers having his hair cut in Ansborg by the same woman every week who dyes his hair while using the coal from the mines. Okay, I got you there. Hm. Right. So he's talking to her. Her name is Bertha. And uh, Sheriff Cash is now 90 years old and he comes in. And uh, Gavin Summers pulls the woman in front of him, you know, choking her, pointing his gun over her shoulder. And Cash is like, oh, all right, all right, all right. You know, he does something like this. Oh, uh, he The true hero. So the, they have uh, one showdown. And the sheriff says, are you going to use another person to guard you? But uh, Gavin throws them away to save them and get shot by Cash as he saves the woman. So uh, he dies not such a bad person saving her, uh, even though it meant he would lose. But everyone is like, oh, I suppose Gavin Summers had some human, but it's because she's pregnant with his little son, and that is only revealed right at the end with the baby crying. Oh, oh, damn. That'd be a good book. I'd like to read that it's in, a, in a book form. Yeah, trust me. I couldn't sell enough seats. The theater was not big enough. Oh, yeah. Wow. It was great, but uh, the song was wonderful. Sophia sang it, 
And uh, it was a hidden meaning in the song about how the lighthouse will not be rained by uh, you know, his legacy. Hmm. My man just needs a little taste here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Go, go, yeah, go I mean, some fresh scratch if you want it, Melvin. Yeah, that'd be great. Take 10 if you got them. 10 if you got them? Sure. Mm -hmm. I was there. You want to get them from the basement? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You want some bottles? Is that you guys need some bottles? No, bottles? trust me. We have bottles coming out of our eyeball. I should have enough room. Should be fine. Oh, this is bullshit. Oh, we do do it, Melvin. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, well, then I will need the main character voice for you. Uh, Wait, where did the... Okay, yeah, we talked about that. I can do that. Well, let me hear it. One more time, you want to hear it? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> well, you know that, Carl. <laughs> Holy I'm shit! My best girl in someone's voice right here. You pretty oh. much like that. Yeah, no, you're... I remember hearing it every time, and every time I tell you, you are going to be Gavin Summers. Right. But my Gavin Summers was uh, pretty good, you know. I wouldn't say as good as yours, but it was great. Are you Jim here? Oh. Oh. The Gavin Summers voice is so good! Hello, you Jim. Ah, uh, couldn't find Adelaide. Melvin, what the shit, man? You know Melvin does not owe me any money. Fine, you would at least push me off. You've gone soft, Melvin. Oh, let me go take care of it. You seen Adelaide? No. All right. I went looking around, couldn't find her. Oh, what the hell? Well, Eugene is walking here and just choke him out. Uh, That's our best customer, Eugene. Oh, uh, put him down. You got a, you got mm -hmm. some phone? Oh, yeah. you got some else out? All right. Yeah. There you go. Now, so Melvin, I didn't realize you turned so... Enough. Didn't realize you turned so soft. Like strangling a rabbit. Ugh. Oh, that goddamn... That kind of... Strong-ass man grabbed me. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all I felt was blackness covering my eyes. I had no chance to fight back. Actually, I gotta go take a whiz. I'll be right back. Well, just wait on uh, Melvin and complete the whole set. Not the scratch. Just sprinkle some smell salts all mm -hmm. over me. Okay. I got the menthol ones. Mm -hmm. You don't like menthol? It'll be fine. But you don't like it? What's wrong no. with menthol? What's wrong with menthol? Know. Do minty. You don't do minty. I'm more of an onion man. But onion? Onion smell and salts. You want to cry? Yeah, sometimes. Oh. I mean, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Most people like the menthol ones. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to be very picky right now. Mm-hmm. If there's one habit I got into, it's always having a medicine bag. At least one. Working with all you chuckle books. There you go. Thank you, Wisteria. Mm -hmm. Jeez, I didn't. Klaus, you should have told me you were sneaking up on me. <laughs> Look, uh, I don't. Uh, how, what am I supposed to do? Uh, I assume every person coming around the corner is going to choke you out. I figured you deserved it. That's oh. what I do. Okay, well, look, I'm not the same person as you, Melvin. Okay, I'm sorry, Paul. I'm gonna be like, you're, watch out! You're not tough enough to defend yourself, huh? Oh. Should we get you some cotton to lay down your head, little baby boy? That would be great. I'd like that. You okay, guys got you... any strollers around here? 
Maybe a, a crib or a cradle. <laughs> we're going to feel like you're in a crib on the side. We make the sale of scratch. How about that? Oh, there you go. I got tin. Okay, All we're going right. to bring it down to uh, $75 for... Wait, hold on. No, no, that is correct. $75 for all of them. We'll give you a, give you a reduction of price here. Okay. Got 67 on me. I'll go get the rest. Okay. You can hold this cattleman as collateral. It's, it's Mama Christine's. Don't you take that tag off it, though. <laughs> I will not. I'll be right back. Sure. I could have just not given him at all. Get one of these in me first. There we go. Yeah. Uh. You want the money? Oh no, I'll just take it for whatever work you have done since I saw you last. Okay. Could you imagine Melvin robbing a bank as Gavin Summers? All right, so what's going on? Where Melvin go? Well, uh, he's going to a doctor. Oh, okay. I think you broke yeah. his neck. Right. He was, uh, all his words were coming out backwards. I think he hurt his <laughs> brain. His brain to hurt? I can't fix I brains. No, no, we can't. We referred him to a special person who knows about brains. They use a hammer and chisel to look into it. I heard they drill a <laughs> hole in the side of your head. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. At the pressure ant and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Right. He was getting all contents and such. <laughs> yeah. So, no finding Adelaide, huh? No, no luck. Went everywhere. Couldn't find her. Yes. She sticks out pretty good. Mm -hmm. She was asking for you earlier, Klaus. I have a small problem here. What is that? She, she keeps telling Klaus how much she likes me. <laughs> oh, no. No. Yeah, no. Don't, don't fall for me. You're not going to fall for that, No, right? I'm not okay, going to good. fall for that. You know I stopped her last year, right? I did not know that, but now I do. Right. Thank you. Right, I fucking hate her guts, Eugene. I'm only kind to her because of Tommy. Yeah, smile, wave, and such. I get right, you. I will I be cordial. You. It's all in the past, but I'm not these fickle motherfuckers who are one moment at war, next moment sucking their cock. I remember shit, and I will hold it deep in my heart. Never forget. Never, never, never forget. forget. Never forget. Always remember. That's right. That's right. All right, Daniel. so what the, what the hell's going on with this manor business then? So I'm hearing this bass fellow's moving in on it. What the hell's he planning on doing now? All right, also some uh, fool named Mr. Delaney is coming up from Valentine. He owns a tobacco farm in Rhodes, a property in Strawberry, or something in Valentine, and now he's trying to take the mansion here in San Denise. This person is collecting uh, the whole uh, of the crossing. Before long, he will own a tumbleweed or something. Who knows? Well, I heard he didn't end up making Ain't that right, Wisteria? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so now it's a bass fellow that apparently uh, kicked the man of the manor, so... <laughs> yeah, I went in I went in the manor um, to talk... Shit, who was I talking to in there? Someone... Oh, Victor. Right. I went to talk to Victor, and I said, so... Who's in here? And a swarm of bass's men came out of the back. And I was like, well, huh. 
A little swarm of lap dogs came around barking at you. Yep. And I was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yep, it was yeah, me and Scout yeah. that were in there. And I was just like, well, okay. Uh, we'll see ourselves out. Yeah, thug <laughs> one, thug two, thug three, thug four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get you. All right. Fair enough. And the story on that one, I guess. All right. To be honest, uh, the sun bus feels like a, a passing fart in the wind. Not to be rude, but people inquire with me about them, and I just tell them, look, whatever you hear outside of the city is very different to what I hear inside of it. All things I ever heard about that gentleman is he came to town, had obsession with two belts, then he all of a sudden he bought a casino boat, and then two grand openings, and now he's buying a manor? Heavy pockets, and there's, and there's a party on Sunday at the manor. But oh, guess, another party. I a guess, re- re- um, I think Hummingbird's throwing that one. The lavender party? For all yeah, the, the lavender party. For all the queer people in the crossing. All right. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Hey, how's your head? Oh, hold on. Melvin. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, you all right? Yes. You were so good. Hey, we're going. Hey, we're all screwed mm-hmm. up. Oh, he sounds all right. <laughs> I'm okay. Why? Oh, they said you had head injuries. I didn't have no head injuries. <laughs> My neck's a little sore because you've been... Fishing all the goddamn time or something, taking horse steroids, you're strong as shit. I didn't think I squeezed you that hard. I'm sorry. You kidding me? I've never been grabbed that hard in my life. I'm so happy. A full recovery here. No problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, good to hear you all right then. You lucky didn't (laughs) pop my goddamn head off, Eugene. (laughs) My apologies. I just sneak up on you like that. You can take a day off of fishing. I I don't fish that much. You've been fishing so much, probably. You've been reeling a man left and right. You're strong as shit. No, I don't. I've fished like maybe twice a week at best. All right. Okay. Well, it's working. <laughs> what you looking for, Eugene? Huh? What you fishing for? Just fishing. It's good. I just started doing it to occupy my mind and end up liking it a lot. Then I'll come fishing with you. Me. I'd love yeah, to go. Good. Thank you for the invitation. I would love to go, Eugene. Well, I didn't know you fished. I don't mean I don't know many does people it who fish. Does it matter? I love fishing. I don't know. Does it? Mm-hmm. I used to go fishing with fish, I used fish. to go fishing with Melvin all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, goddamn it, I feel like shit. I didn't realize <laughs> I don't like fishing so much. I thought I was the only one. Uh, I started fishing you're, club. You're the first person to say to people, "Oh, write me sometime," you know. But you're <laughs> the first person not to write us first time. I want to come fishing with you. This is what I'm telling you. All right then. Fine. Okay. Mm, it All right. Sounds like we got a fishing trip planned. All right, you, you can count on then. I'll do that. Mm. Sure. All right, fishing trip. All right. You know, I managed Settle. to dig up um one of the tri- uh cash boxes before that Rockwell fella did today. What time? What time? Um, hold on. I have to think about it. Eleven, twelve, one, two, twelve. One, two, three, four, like five fifty in the morning. Five fifty in the fucking morning. Mm-hmm. God damn. Look, I see all of these boxes all the time. Okay, you just need to know the better locations, close as you covered. Well, I know a few of them. I just I, I know twenty, him. twenty or more of them. Well, that's more than I do. That's for damn sure. Right. I think I only know one that he doesn't know about, and that's it. The rest of them will get snapped up real fucking quick. A little bit, you know, a little bit. I want them. I want them. Look at it. Oh, oh Lola. Daddy. Lola. How's it going? Great, Hi, how are you? Good. How'd that Perfect. go? It went all right. Yeah, actually, very great. Yeah. So, that's good. How's everyone else doing? We were just talking about fishing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, we're fishing. talking about how Eugene is uh, not inviting us fishing. 
I didn't know anybody what I was doing to collect my own damn thoughts. You I Jim, with, time. with you, I would go uh, milking a cow, okay? Look, I don't <laughs> want to do it, but with you, Jim, it is different, okay? With you, oh, all right. Well, it didn't feel like they when I started doing it. I feel like I was just against the world at that time. Because it won't seem shit. Perhaps your own head is uh, against the world, but we're not against you. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. I appreciate that. Good. All right then. Then you consider it done. You will get a fishing trip invitation. Hell yeah. Perfect. Uh, good. Make sure you all got your poles and your lures and such. It'll be one hell of a trip. What time are we getting started, early? Uh, probably an evening thing, I think. Oh, evening fishing. Like, like this, but maybe a bit earlier, a little bit earlier. Sure. Yeah, because cause I'm pretty much getting ready to hit the pillar right about now. And then I'm going to see if I can get up at the crack of dawn and find this fucking rock pile. He will be at Blackwater, Blackwater yeah. right now, almost right now, for the next mm. uh, eight hours. Good. Now I know. Mm -hmm. He starts yeah. in black water. Good. That means tall trees. That's what that means. No, it means he sits behind. I don't want to show you what Peter Rockwell is, okay? You ready? Ready. Completely empty tavern. Although I stand in here by myself a lot of the day, no one's going to judge this moment. But this is what he does. You ready? Yep. Prepare yourself to hate this person. That's it. Can you believe that? Uh, then, then what? Okay, you're coming into the bar. Eugene walks into Blackwater Saloon. It is empty. No one is in there. Even the piano player has gone home. And action. Can I get a drink? What you want? Uh, beer. There you go. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. Well, sadly, Eugene, you have not witnessed this person at their very best moment <laughs> because he will not charge you for the beer. But he's about as welcoming uh, as you would be to a rat coming into your kitchen. It is, I don't know, he is just a slimy little cunt. I want to kill him. Oh, I hate shit. him. I fucking yeah. hate this person. He, when he introduced yeah. himself to me, he introduced himself. What's his first name? I don't even remember. Peter. Peter Rockwell, treasure hunter. That's how he introduced himself to me. He gave wow. himself a title. He's been lying about having 10 palm shotguns to drive down price of uh, palm shotguns. This person is a piece of shit. What they're going to do next one, the worst crime for Klaus. But you are all on the poker table right now, okay? This is the scene. Uh, Wisteria, you are Klaus. Mm -hmm. uh, Lola, you're going to be a someone called Mikado. Mikado is buying a deck from Klaus. You are making an agreement right now for $10,000 for this. I am... Uh, Right here, I am Peter Rockwell. I have been stood here for 40 minutes. I've not said a single word, and I've been scribbling in this book very loudly. Loud scribbling. Please understand, <laughs> the pencil is so fucking loud. <laughs> so I've been here. You have talked about the Van Horn deck, and this is what he does. <laughs> oh my. It's like he's in the room with us. Wow. Okay, so he laughs for longer than this, if you can believe it. And his uh, stupid fucking accent. Okay, not a good place for Klaus to cast on here, <laughs> but move past. So, uh, Wisteria, you are Klaus, and you are going to ask me... Uh, okay, what's so funny? Mm -hmm. Wait, do Why it, do are it, you do laughing? It. Perfect, that was how I would say it as well. <laughs> oh, I'm just laughing how cheap I get the Van Horn deck for... That you're all talking about. Excuse <laughs> me? Wow. Say it again. Cheap? Cheap. I only pay uh, 2000 for it. Long time ago. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. hilarious. Uh-huh. 
Well, I'm sorry, Klaus. Looks like I'm going to be dealing with that prick over there. Okay, so this can't not even happen like this. So this is how it happened. Now, oh, uh, the poker table continues. There's no problems here. Everyone hits, and he stands there scribbling in his book for another hour and 45 minutes. I may have timed it on a pocket watch. Okay, I'm not proud of this, <laughs> but I fucking hate this person. So later on, uh, next day, I'm going to go and find Mikado. Sorry, fuck you, Klaus. Mm. Move. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I am Peter Rockwell, Mikado. I have Van Horn deck for cheaper than Klaus. I will give you cheaper money for it. Oh, fantastic. Okay. We are making deal. Perfect. But I must go to Flood to go get my deck. Because he is the holder of this deck trying to sell it for me. Even though I have informed everybody many times I've sold it for $12,000 to a person who's been gone from the closing for three fucking months. <laughs> who never actually make this. On. And Klaus knows about this because he is smart and talking to this quite a lot. Okay. 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 So now Klaus is going to hear about... Uh, Okay, uh, you have to okay. ask. Mm. You have to. You have to ask uh, Mikado when you're going to pay for the deck. Do it. When are you going to pay for the deck? I'm uh, not paying you for the deck. I'm getting it from from someone else. Okay, now you ask who. Who? Peter Quail. Okay, Treasure for Hunter. <laughs> oh, perfect. That is almost how it happened. So now you need to get angry, but not angry like American angry, angry like uh, like old mountain angry. We just sit there and we stew on it and we consider the ways we can kill them with what is in the room. We look around mm -hmm. the room and we imagine uh, killing them with everything in the room. Put the fan! Hmm. Do it! Hmm. I'm thinking about the lamp. Hello, creeping people. Ah. Oh, look how he is! Oh! Oh, hi there. Ah. Long time, how you been? Good, good. How you looking good? What you been up to? Oh, looking for you. Uh, really? Oh, yeah. Maybe the store. beaver. <laughs> you can't take my money this way, Paul. No, no, huh? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just oh, being yeah, honest. Just their teeth in the right. Paul, are you looking for me? No, no, I wasn't looking for you. I was looking for you for class because you two had a talk. Oh, right. Yeah, there you oh, go. Uh, you asked me what I was doing, I told you. Uh, thank you. you You're so sweet. I try. You're oh, so it's this motherfucker! Yeah, then, then, oh, then, god then, damn it, what's his name? Uh, yeah, right. I miss you so much. I just wish you were around more. Miss I'm gonna stand. Mm. Well, anyways, you should probably catch up with Cloud. Oh, no, it's oh, good. Where... I'm I'm happy watching you score. Where, where 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 can I find you? All right. We're family after all. Hey, well you're not married to him yet, nothing like that, are you? No, pretty much. <laughs> Look what he got me today. Oh yeah. What's A that? gold watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is beautiful. It's hey. gold. That's oh, something. Okay. Yeah. Well, that that to me for like pretty much forever, honestly. Wow. Man, look at that. No ring on your finger, oh. though. <laughs> I don't have any moments that make me genuinely happy. This is one of the happy Thank you for letting me work here. Patient, You're very welcome. It's been a pleasure. Be <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. All right. Maybe one day, you know. So we can do things together. I'm sure we can do plenty of things together. Like oh, shit. All right. When it happens. <laughs> if it happens. Um, well, you just need, y'all need to talk. But I'm sure that'll happen one day. Oh, yeah, everyone. Everyone across and says we need to talk. He knows where I'm at. Again. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, everyone, not my blaming name. you. I'm, I'm not Eugene, blaming not you. Not Tommy, just to be clear. So people oh. understand. I'm not blaming you at all. I, yeah. I know you. you know no, I know you're not blaming me. I know you're not blaming me. I know. All right. <laughs> yeah. Klaus is right behind you there. <laughs> if you need <laughs> anything, if you're hungry, if you need your clothes washed, anything, you let me know. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I got, I do myself. <laughs> I do my okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut your hair if you need to. <laughs> I like it long. Thank you. Keeps me warm. Yeah. Nice and warm. All right. I'm just looking out for you. Oh. 
Hi, Claire. <laughs> Hello, Adelaide. How are you doing? Good to see oh, you. Great. Okay. Good to see you. Um, I have your money in the bank. Understood. Well, then let's go to the bank. Oh, all right. Let's go. Class, can you watch Eddie? I think that is watching yours, you know. This person is capable of watching themselves and one other. Oh, right. He seems like a strong buck. Let's go. How are you, Eddie? Good to I'm see your so partner. Okay. Well, who the fuck is all the big Eddie? How's it going? Is Eddie a pet? Huh? Why does he have to watch Eddie? Uh, oh, no. Eddie's watching Adelaide. Oh. Yeah. So, where are you? I don't know. Does Christine still want to hurt me? I don't want to talk too loud in case Melvin comes back, but she was, she was n not happy at all. Yeah, I, I had telegrammed Melvin right before he even got to town. Hmm. Telling Melvin that she was not happy with me. Yeah. She said she heard you talking shit and stuff, so. I don't understand their definition of talking shit. I don't know. I, I realize people in the crossing can be quite sensitive on certain things, but. Like if you say Jack Kettleman, he's a tiny dick, he got shot up by his gang. <laughs> That's actually unrelated. They didn't shoot us up for that, but. Huh. <sighs> just in the same situation. I literally just... Um... Mama said, fuck you to Thomas. I think that's his name. No, she said, Sh Thomas, shut the fuck up. Because Eustace and Mama, were f they fired Adelaide. And, um... He back talked mama like twice. So I got mad because Eustace was upset. And so I walked out to Thomas and I said, If somebody tells you to shut the fuck up, you should shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then I walked away. And then when I went back and I said, Have you how long have you worked at the bathhouse? He's only worked there for one day. And I said that he needs to learn how to respect mama. Like, that's literally what I was talking about. Huh. Yeah, because she didn't go into detail on what was said or anything. So and I, I, no and I was trying to get her, him to understand that, like, he was back-talking. And I said, you back -talk mama. And he said, no, I didn't. And I said, you just back -talked me. <laughs> yeah. You retorted. Yeah. Me, sir. Mm-hmm. So, um, I said that the bathhouse has a long and murderous history. Which is not wrong. Oh, I do recall her mentioning something like that. But I didn't so mean that, that mama murdered people. Yeah, that might have been what it was, to be honest. Hmm. But it's true. It is true. I mean, everyone I did, knows it. There's yeah. a lot of people who've been killed there. Right. Or that got killed because of it. And, yeah. and even this, before this guy Mama took it over. Yeah, and this guy didn't know. The bathhouse mm. burned down once. Mm. Jesus. Like. Got shot up a bunch of times. Uh huh. Yeah, no, you're, I understand what you're saying. And. And this guy yeah, just, he things. just, like, wasn't getting it through his skull. Yeah. But, I don't know, he was just like, I just got hired today. It's really easy to work at the bathhouse. <laughs> For now. Yeah, and I said, well, you're gonna get fired really easy. Oh. I know what I might have said. Oh. Uh-oh. What was it? Um... I think I might have 
and so, well, okay, you know how you talk to somebody and you like kind of mean like literally I didn't want this guy to get hurt because mm -hmm. I thought he was going to continue back talking mama mm -hmm. so he said he was saying like I don't care if I get fired from this job and I said I, I might have said something more along the lines of He might get hurt. Hmm. But it was more that he was talking bad about mom. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I understand. She probably just heard you and not him or something. Like, that he was, he was talking bad about mom because he was like, he said, like, I don't care if I get fired from this job. I ain't getting fired from the... Like, at least I'll get fired from this job, like, with my dignity or something like that. And I said, if you're talking like that and you're not respecting mama, like, it's going to be worse than you just getting fired. Mm -hmm. oh, I understand. But I didn't mean, like, he's going to die. He might, but it ain't exactly what I meant. Big misunderstanding. Hopefully, it can get cleared up. Shit. I was trying to help Mama. Right. Yeah, because she was not happy. And when I saw you, I was just like, well, mysterious. Well, yeah, I was so confused because she told me to not say anything behind her back that I wouldn't say to her face. And I said, I didn't say anything behind your back that I wouldn't say to your face. And that made her hmm. even more mad. And they're really mad that I still talk to Jack. Which I also don't understand. Hmm. People say they see how he treats me. And that makes them upset. But they don't see how he treats me like... If it's just me and him. Right. I mean, I can understand that. Like, because I hardly know Jack, but I know that he has quite the temper. And so the more mm -hmm. people that get around him, the quicker he is to temper. Mm hmm it, And that's directed at anyone. Mm-hmm. So I understand what you're saying. The less people around him, the, the more calm he'll probably be as well. We went rolling down hills the other day. It's so much fun. Yeah. We were tying people up. We were tying each other up. And we went with Ed, too, the train conductor. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, and we were rolling each other down hills. I feel like I'm running. Nice. I get scared, and then I panic, and I put my heels on the ground. Hi. Uh, Hi. Scott invited me inside this time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Howdy, howdy. Klaus ain't here. Is Eugene? Uh, he'll be back. Gotcha. Do you have a New moment with Syria? Bank. I have to rant. Uh-huh. Dakota, you can stay in here with Magnolia. All right, well, thank Dakota you, Mysteria. Dakota can be there if she wants, because she already oh. heard it. But, okay. But I'm you could also think. help Magnolia if you'd like to speak huh? to her. Well, Either way is fine. You two can converse like regular people. Mm-hmm. Okay, that works. Okay. Be right back. I'm Dakota, even though we already done that. I'm going to say this, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you're going to think, wow, Scout is dumb. I could have told you this a long time ago. Mm -hmm. He's so stupid and dumb and stupid, and I hate how stupid he is because he's dumb and stupid and doesn't listen to anything I say. And it's true. Uh-huh. But Tommy was in Valentine. Uh-huh. And I was riding my horse with Dakota. We were getting ready to leave to come here. 
Mm -hmm. And I said, hi, Tommy. And he said, oh, hi, Scout. Where you been? You been in hiding? And I said, no. What are you talking about? He's like, well, I figured you've been hiding. I haven't seen you around lately. I said, no, I've been around every single day, actually. And then he said, well, you know, Scout, you haven't been pulling your weight in this group. <laughs> and I asked him what the hell he was talking about. And he just said, you ain't been pulling your weight in this group. And I said, I haven't been pulling my weight. I'm the one who saved your damn girlfriend when she was kidnapped by the doctor. I'm the one who told Speedy and Emmett exactly where she was. I'm the one who gathered them so we could go down and help her. And he said this about that. He said, and I was on my way. You should have waited for me. <laughs> that wasn't a positive. That was a negative. He should have waited? Should have waited. Shouldn't have saved her. Should have let Tommy be there to save her. Oh. And apparently he had just gotten choked out by a guy. And I said that that guy tried to get me to join his group. And then he said, well, you should try and join his group. Like, I guess to get on the inside. And I said, well, he's not going to let me anymore after what I did. And he said, there hasn't been much use for you lately. Or something along those lines of, you're bringing no use to me, Scout. Something like that. And I don't know. That's, that's my rant. I'm pissed off. Next time I'll let his girlfriend die out there. They don't value you. I want to talk to Speedy about it. He won't see it. He's not going to see it. Speedy talks to me about he's things not, like that. He's not going to see it. I guess we'll see. Okay, are you going to listen to me? I'm listening to you. I am. Okay. I'm saying I still want to try. I'm not okay. ignoring what you're saying. I'm taking what you're saying and saying I'm still going to try. Because Speedy is willing to give way more than what is given back. What do you mean? He's willing to go and he's the one that he's been the driving force for going to save Adelaide, and he's been, well, you know, what? Yeah. It's no, true. No, I, it's I, true. I'm talking about when I saved him. Or her. Right, I gathered Speedy. I that. gathered Emmett. I was looking for her. I found her out at that cabin. Or I found Thyme out at that cabin. And I took mm -hmm. a mental note of where he was. I found out Adelaide was awake the next day. So I gathered Speedy and Emmett. And we went and took care of it. But no. That was a mistake. Because Tommy wasn't there to do it. Don't value you. And he's not going to. Don't remember bad things you do over the good things you do. Yeah. All right. Well, that's my rant. What are you gonna do? Went in. I I don't know. It's just here, a rant. Wait, I'll here. figure it out. out of the ring. Klaus just asked me if we were dating too. And I said, no, you're like my brother. Right? Yeah. I don't... People just don't get that. I've okay. been asked by multiple people as well. And okay. I said the exact same thing. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Mm-hmm. Just... I'm on the same page. Trust me. Okay. Anyway, um, sorry, the thought distracted me because no, I don't like fine. people asking that. Um,
You still gonna work with them? Yeah. Wow. It's not them that's the issue. Tommy. It doesn't matter. And that's. It's the head of the snake. It's not. It Tommy is. is not the leader of the group. Who there is? is no leader. It, bullshit. There isn't. Bullshit. It, there's not. I'm telling you, there's not. There's always a leader. We, there's we always talk. somebody. There's always somebody that, no matter what, when push comes to shove. How y'all doing? Hi, Melvin. Hi, Scott. I just wanted to say hi to you. Who's hi. the leader of Tommy's group? How are you? Uh, I don't know. Tommy, Pe I guess. I don't know. People call it Tommy's group scout. Y'all, mm -hmm. y'all want me to be here for this, or y'all having a private? private uh, I don't, I don't care. It's Tommy. Right. Tommy being a turd. Oh no, you got a problem with Tommy? What's he doing? Uh, he's saying he's I'm nice not again? pulling my weight in the group, even though I spearheaded saving Adelaide from Thine and when they had her kidnapped. Hmm. And I found where he was keeping her, and I took Speedy and Emmett down there, and we dealt with them. Uh, he said that was a minus, not a plus, because he wasn't there. Oh, yeah. Well, he was there later that day when uh, Stein came after us again. Apparently, y'all didn't put him down good enough. Came after us again by the roadhouse, and I had to do a lot of gobble ball style tackling. Don't know how. The man got stabbed three times. I don't get it either. Yeah, and then fucking, yeah, I don't know. Is he, what's the deal? Has he been around? Is he still after Adelaide? What's going on? Yes, he stabbed Adelaide five times the other day. Oh, shit. She's in Valentine's Saloon. It wasn't mm -hmm. Thine, though. It was, um... No, it was Thine. It, no, it was one of his no, men. You no, know, it was Thine. Thine dressed up as someone else. Oh, oh. He changed his clothes and sneaked sneaky, in. Sneaky. Yep. All the well, deputies maybe knew about like it. Thine. All of us knew about and it. And the, yeah, he still got in. Yes, but she's saying that they're never going to value me, and I'm just saying it's Tommy, not the group, but she's saying it's Tommy's group and he's the head, but I was saying there is no leader of the group. It's like everyone agrees on things. There's not like a voting yeah. system, but everyone talks it out. It's kind of different now that Mama's back. Yeah. I think so she's I trying know. to work things out between uh, Tommy and Eugene eventually mm -hmm. here. She is. That's her goal, and... Mm. It, it's gonna be interesting. So, yeah. How are you, Melvin? I'm all right. That's good. I'm glad. I yeah. am. Glad to see you all. Things are weird, you know. It's like there's mm -hmm. three different groups now. It's not yeah. like it used to be. It's like not a weird how tension I around like everyone. Happen, you know? mm -hmm. Yep. What it's are the really three? Weird. Well, it's like Jack and. Uh, Whoever he's running with now, kinda. Mm. And then Tommy and then Eugene and then Mama's got a group and then me and Scout are doing our thing on the side and then mm -hmm. Klaus is keeping everybody happy with this beautiful scratch he's making, speaking of wit. Do one of those in me now? Ooh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Yummy. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go for a walk. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that was it. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to rant, so that's You somewhere that. where you're appreciated? Hmm? You somewhere where you're appreciated? The others do. You promise? As far as I'm aware, yeah. They, they haven't given me any reason not to be. They tell you. Speedy has, yeah. Emmett's Emmett. You know how he is. Well, he thinks I'm effing. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. He is who he is. You can't really talk to Emmett, I guess. I mean, you can talk to him, just not... You, you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But And Frank's Frank. You know, that ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah, but... but just saying that they're, they're, they're them? I don't know. Yeah, I got you. All right. Look... I like working here. Mm -hmm. I get told when I do a good job or if I do something wrong. Yeah. 
And I feel like I'm useful. Well, that's good. I'm glad. And, and not that I'm a, a hindrance or I'm in the way. Or that I'm not pulling my weight. Yeah. Is that... Must feel terrible. Yeah, it's not great. But... Right now... It's just... It's a thing right now. I'm sure it'll get solved. So... Alright, shall we? Mm -hmm. Jack you're talking about Thompson? Jack Thompson, yeah. That's the only Jack I'll ever refer to as Jack. Understood. Is this person uh, not around anymore forever? No, I don't know what the hell he's up to. I think he's playing around in the snow, making snow angels or some shit all day. Okay, fair enough. Isn't that right, Scott? What's Jack up to nowadays? Nothing? Couldn't tell you. Zizuka. It's Zizuka. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> when, did that hmm? when did that happen? Yesterday. Oh damn! In a Pacific. What did he do? Yeah. Attempted second degree murder. What the hell? Mm. What the hell is that? What are these degrees? It's either murder or it's not. He didn't die. Well, second degree is like uh, how I pulled it. Uh, Fuck you and you shoot the them. Moment. Right, so if you say to me, fuck you, Klaus, and then I just shoot you for it. But first is like, hey, uh, Lola, let's go and kill Melvin today. Oh, okay, I got you. Right. Planning so it out, planning, planning it, it out. out. Right, right, right. Mm. What's third degree? Manslaughter. Like a right. one that runs somebody over with the carriage on accident? Right, mm -hmm. Oops. Mm -hmm. call it oopsie murder. Whoopsie daisies, whoopsie murder. Oofpotsky. Whoopsie murder. Oopsie potsky. Mm. Yep. And then there's also assault with a deadly weapon, mm -hmm. which is when you just injure somebody pretty bad, but it's not like enough to kill them. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Was Syria two deadly weapons right here? <laughs> uh, me and Dakota need to talk to you about something. <gasps> we do. Talk it's to who? Uh, was Syria? Syria, it's bad. It's real bad. What? I'm going to bed after this. Uh, yeah, you you're gonna want to. to. Or you actually probably want to stay up after this. Why? Yeah, you might have night terrors. <laughs> yeah. You're just gonna become like me. So, you want to explain it? It's your story to tell. Mm, so, you know how Danny and I have been kind of splitting things off, even though we never originally had anything to split? Uh huh. So, Danny and uh, I was talking to Eustace about it. Mm -hmm. And she made me go talk to Danny, and we had this whole conversation about when remaining did this friends yesterday. Okay. But we're just going to get to a part that happened today. I'm giving you the rundown. Okay. okay. So, Eustace done made us speak about being friends, and Danny was a little bit hesitant and hit me with his ums and his ums and his uhs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, hmm. yeah, just like that. So, I was like, all right. And I said, Denny, if you ain't want to be friends, I ain't going to force you to speak to me. And he said, no, I want to be friends. And then we then went treasure hunting together, which I ain't really signed up for. I kind of got tricked into hanging out with him. And then we was back on speaking terms, I guess. And then this morning I done woke up and the boy was flat out ignoring me. For one. He just walked right by me. Excuse me, mister. Mind your business. <laughs> he just walked right by me without even saying nothing. And then I was going to the telegram station alone, and I done saw him looking at me across the road with binoculars. And I was like, oh, I just got a new hat. He's probably making sure that it's me or something. So I continued to the telegram office. And then Mr. Craig came down and told me, Dakota, Danny's been following you about looking at you with binoculars. <laughs> and I said, mm, that's really interesting, Mr. Craig. What the fuck? So then later, oh, it gets worse. It's, it's terrible, Mysteria. This is the primer for it. So Scott and I, we've gone down to the telegram office to go check our telegrams. 
and mm -hmm. we was looking at Aurora, who was doing whatever she was doing. She got into shit mm -hmm. out or something. Mm -hmm. And so we was looking in one direction with binoculars, mm -hmm. and we saw Danny in the barn across the road from the telegram office looking at Scout and I with his binoculars all sneaky like through a window. Just he should peering. just be with Carolyn. Mm -hmm. It gets worse. No, yep. why? No, it gets okay. worse. Okay, so continue. After that, Scout and I done headed up here. Y'all had your conversation. I stood outside like a dog. Mm -hmm. That's a joke. Uh, uh, I was fine standing mm, outside. Dakota. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just making me feel bad. No, mm -hmm. I, I was okay. So we you done your went water. back. Excuse mm -hmm. me, man. We're having a conversation. Mind your business. Mind your also, business. you, Mister. Maybe y'all should talk. Kiss. Sir. Mm, not being interested business. in each other. All right. Continue. So, Sorry. we was going back into Valentine after coming back from Saint Denis, and Scout and I had said, "Please let us go into town, and ain't nothing bad happen, ain't nothing weird happening, and we can just sit in peace for at least two minutes." So we was riding, and Scout points at a woman and goes. Dakota, ain't that your hat? And I go, oh, that is my hat. Why is she wearing my hat? Only I can wear that hat. You know the one that's all the cow print and whatnot? Mm-hmm. So we go get some water with Mr. Thomas, I believe his name is, the fellow with the mustache. The one that I that caused all the problems with me and Mama earlier because I was yelling at him. Did he? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, is that why Eugene hit him? Probably. Yes. So what? Okay, we'll continue the story, and I really want to hear that. Yeah. So, he then told us that Danny, when Scout and I were gone, was talking about how Danny missed me and wanted to feel close to me again. So Danny took it upon himself to go into the saloon where I'd done left some clothes, because that's where I used to change all the time. And he put one of my outfits on and was walking around town with his arms all crossed and whatnot, his little hands folded, walking around town looking like me, acting like, like me, this. like Scout. Mm hmm and he's refusing to take him off. Right now! So, no, no, no. So he, everybody was telling him, Danny, he's done got to go change. He ain't never going to speak to you ever again. And Danny ain't listening. He just kept walking around. And then Scout and I done see him. We go up. Draven wrangles him, hog ties him, throws him into the mud, and we was just looking at him. And then was calling him a little freak. I'm pretty sure Scout said that he's a creepy man or something. Mm -hmm. uh, Scout punched him in the face for me. Yep. And then he's still refusing to go change his clothes. So, so I didn't walk up to him. I yelled at him. I called him a fucking freak to his face. I told him to go change. And I grabbed the clothes from him. Told him I ain't never speaking to him ever again. And then I left. And then we reported him to the sheriff's office. Yep. Yep. She called him a fucking freak. And it I terrified have... me because I've never heard her be angry like that. Mm -hmm. I have Caroline's telegram. She well, need him. Say the word to he, he might be getting banned from Valentine, actually. Yep. Holy fucking shit. Weller. Yep. We told Weller. Oh, you told... Mm -hmm. Yes, we told Weller. And he took it very seriously. Well done. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. We, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because on top of that... Uh... He hit me in the face. He punched Ren Solo earlier. Y did he? Yep. I did not know that. Yep. Also, Fish grabbed Ren and was threatening to kill him earlier. Oh, yeah. So that's a different story. Um, but yeah, then Danny was peeping on Dakota from the window outside the bathhouse, staring mm, that's and being true. creepy. And then he hit me, so he's getting like... In addition to that, he's got potential assault charges. Oh I even God. told Weller that I Is hit him. Is he going to and... Sissica? That'd be and funny if he did. That would be funny, but I doubt it. <laughs> um, but I even told Weller that I hit him in the face when he was wearing Dakota's clothes, and he said that was fine. Mm -hmm. And it's Weller. Mm -hmm. And it's Weller, and he hates me. So. Imagine if you went to Sissica and Jack was there. That would be terrible, but also well, now probably I feel pretty like good. An absolute moron for helping Danny. It's just he's making 
my decisions that at the time I thought were good look mm -hmm. worse and worse and worse. I ain't ever helping that man again. Me neither. I never speak to him ever. What's wrong with his brain? You're like, I didn't shoot know. him in the head, right? Does losing a kidney make you know. dumb? Maybe. I ain't too sure. I don't sure. think so. But also, I'm not a doctorologist, so I don't know. I don't think losing a kidney makes you dumb. Being Danny makes you dumb. Yeah. Uh -huh. I told him to just not talk no more. That's <laughs> what I told him today. He was talking. Hmm. He sure was, so he I said to listen. never, ever talk to Caroline ever again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, apparently he sent a telegram to her. Mm -hmm. Yep, I, I heard that one. <sighs> I didn't hear. I just know he sent her a telegram. I don't know what it was about. Okay, we kick him out of Valentine and we put him in a cage in tall trees. It's either that or he gets thrown in jail. Mm-hmm. Well, I know and both. I, th I personally think he should be thrown in jail because Danny's perfect record wouldn't be perfect mm -hmm. and that would I be hilarious. I want to slander it. Mm -hmm. I want to soil that man. We are going to add him to the EPA. Mm -hmm. The Extreme Peepers Anonymous. Okay. And he would be the only member. Okay. Yeah, so so how Danny's... long ago did the last incident happen? Uh, that um, was when we left here and went to yeah. San Denis. Or went back to Valentine. Valentine. When we showed okay. up, he was mm -hmm. there. Walking around in my clothes, which I can never wear ever again because you done sold them. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah, it, it was it was bad. I... Yeah. It was bad. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Howdy. Hi. Howdy. Uh, you soon? Are you late anywhere? Did she get kidnapped mm -hmm. again? No, no, no. She's, uh... She, I, I thought uh, you were supposed to be watching her. Uh, well, um, not, not watching her. What, what do you mean? I thought you were supposed to be watching her. She's my friend. Yeah, I thought you were supposed to be watching her. I don't know. Like, do you watch your friends? Yeah, Kinda. Uh, yeah. Well, this is different. Uh, I think he just knows Adelaide from fishing. I'm just, a, just her friend. Oh. Yeah. No, she's not here though. Is it... she, or I haven't here. seen her at least. No. Nope. Uh, I last saw her in Valentine, but that was like. Two hours ago, so. Oh, that's Sorry. okay. I just, I just saw her before, like, at the gallery. Mm. Um, and then uh, I had gotcha. some shit to sort out, and then she said, "I'll come back and get you." And then and I got to the gallery. You? What's up? You didn't get you. Then what? Get you. Who, who didn't get me? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I, I agree with this conversation. Back, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I just want, then I, I just have no clue. Back here. You have no clue. Okay. No. Yeah, sorry. The last time I'd done seen her was in Valentine, but hours ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay. Is she in a shop there? I don't. Yeah, you could look, you look but, but I don't, I don't think, think so. so. All right. I'll just, I'll just have a quick look, and then uh, mm -hmm. if she comes here, can you tell her I've gone back to Galley? Mm -hmm. What's your name? Mm -hmm. Eddie. Eddie. Okay. Will do. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Alright, well, I mean, that that was it. Danny's a disgusting, mm -hmm. creepy peeper. Yep. He even I mean, tried to he reason peeper, with though. me when I was trying to get my clothes back. He then turned around to speak to me and I t just told him to shut up. Oh my god, if I tell him I never want to speak to him anymore, is he going to take my clothes? Probably, and probably smell them, Maybe. and then take a lock well, of your hair when you're sleeping, and then chew uh, on it. Uh, <laughs> the color. Okay. Okay. Everything okay? Seems like a dance or something. Nope. We just, it was a super awkward conversation about what somebody uh -huh. did. Yep. And we ain't feeling awkward towards each other, but we's feeling awkward about this Be other person. Yeah. 
Oh. Uh, uh, do you, do you want to hear it? You're more than welcome mm -hmm. to. We just figured it you didn't want to hear it. If it's going to embarrass Wisteria, I'd rather not. No, oh, not no, Wisteria. No, no, no. You know, then, Danny. Then sure. I know Danny from Yeah, of course. Yeah. He was been peeping on Dakota. On Dakota. Oh. And this is Dakota. And oh. today he was following her around town, watching her with binoculars everywhere she went. And then when we went to the telegram station, uh, he was peeping at us from the barn across the street with his binoculars. And then when we came here a little bit ago and then went back to Valentine, he was dressed in her clothes that he took from the saloon walking around town in her clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we filed a report of stalking against him. Super creepy and weird. That very is strange. Very fair. You want to put a job here? I can have a contract for beating shit out of Danny. <laughs> what, you don't think I have these kind of jobs here? People come no, here and I anonymously post it. jobs and I hand them out to people. I just can think of Danny as, you know, like you blow air on him and he'll, he'll crack and fall over. Mm -hmm. Well, there should be a cheap contract then, just like fifty dollars, and people go and say, "Look, stop stalking this person, or I'm going to cut off your toe." Up to you. He's already yeah. lost a kidney. Mm-hmm. That's true. I think that's what's making him dumb. I think there's, he's just there's, dumb. There's no, there's no fix in this guy. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why he didn't wanted to marry Dolly immediately, is because there's something wrong with his head. You know what Caroline said? Caroline said that he was the anti tree. What the hell does that mean? Anti tree? Uh huh. I think that's what she said. She said that he acts like he's all nice, but he he um brings negativity and doom to everybody around him. But he does it like he's acting all positive, like. But oh, then, I know this person. We call him Doomer. Yeah. But, A Doomer. But like the first person he went and uh. Uh -huh. Was supposed to marry Dolly. She died. And then... Caroline almost died. Because of Danny. Mm -hmm. Literally because of Danny. And... Then we've been trying to help him. And now you're getting peeped on and creeped mm -hmm. on. And freaked on. Mm-hmm. Scam yeah. got shot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting. So. You think he's like a. Like a psychopath in disguise or something? I think he might be, or turning into one at least. Mm hmm. Oh, didn't he aim by the knife the other day as well? And was out there skinning animals and whatnot? Mm hmm. He beat huh. up Brent Solo today. Mm hmm. And he punched Scout in the face the other day. Mm hmm. Mm hmm Yep, yep, yep. Mm hmm He got me shot. I forgot about that one. Mm hmm You and Edgar. Mm hmm Over his fucking boots. Oh, you saw someone that got shot because of that? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Mm hmm I didn't know that. Yeah, got shot because he wouldn't take off his damn boots. Mm-hmm. And his excuse was that he was just trying to reason with him. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I said, you don't try to reason with people with guns to your face. Mm-hmm. Especially over some boots. Especially when you're in the middle of a fucking town. Oh. Howdy. I think I'm heading uh, to bed. Oh. I'm lost, sadly. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just, uh, uh, she was on the gallery with me and, uh, and then, uh, she, she went away to go to the bank and then, um, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, she said to wait for her and I didn't wait. And I don't, I don't know where she is. And, I, and I've forgotten how to get to the gallery. The old gallery? 
That's where she's going to? Yep. Well, we're gonna show you the way, no problem. Unless anyone else here knows the way. That, that's the last place. Uh, she said for me to wait for her there, and then I didn't wait. It's over Not by the bad. barber. You know the barber? Uh, yes. Okay, it is on the street just to the north of that one. Pretty sure. Okay. It will look like a little walkthrough, but there is a stairwell on the right as you enter that will pass through. Okay. The floor right there has nice tile. You will notice this by this. And if you go to the right courtyard, there is a fountain right in the middle of it. Yes, yeah, so should we yeah. say hello to tonight? Okay. Okay. Right, thank, thanks, Melvin? Chris. You got it there, no problem. Okay. Mm. Anyone here needing guns or scratch or cards or loan or <laughs> something? Any kind good. of business opportunity? Out. Nope. Yep. Same. Oh. I'm heading to bed. Are oh, you have a good night, Mysterio? Mm -hmm. Good seeing you, Klaus. Mm -hmm. You too. Take care, Klaus. Good to see you. 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 Magnolia. I can't believe this shit. Good night. <laughs> Missed. Ow. No, I didn't. Mysterio, can you do that to me? Because my hands are stuck together. <laughs> Uh, are they? I'm clenching them because I'm nervous. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. I'm taking this. You look good. Thank you. Ha. Thief. Scoundrel. 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 I'm really surprised none of these people got mad at us. Mm hmm. Do they get mad? Um. I pushed a lady down on my way out earlier because I was upset. I don't think the people here get mad. The people in the alley do, though. Mmm, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I got a new horse, by the way. Mm -hmm. Why? His name is King. Why? Uh, because I like it. Okay. This one's black and my other one is black and brown. Okay. Have a good night. You too, night. bye. Sleep here. Alright, guys. Uh, thank you, as always, for being here. Oh, what a fucking day. What a day, what a day. And please, 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 have a good day. 